yeah, we pick up uh, where we last left off. All of you guys have uh, used varying amounts of your hit dice and or healing spells to get to the point where you are. And you I guys are heading back out into the woods uh, with the sky turning orange-blue in the evening time and the sun starting to dip into the mountains uh, to the east. So it's getting really dark. Uh, if you guys are heading back out into the woods, then whoever, if you've got dark vision, then you'll be fine. But those of you who don't will need a torch or two. A torch burns for one hour, range is 20, 40. Okay, uh, so we got bright light out to 20 feet. And dim light out 20 feet after that for a total of 40 feet. I, I, Mordecai, are you lighting up a torch? I don't have torches. Perfect, yeah, that's perfect. Oh, okay. I'm going to save that. Hold on, hold on. Let me actually get the high quality one. Okay. Zarmorn, uh, okay. mark off one of the torches in your inventory because with an explorer's pack, I think you've got 10. Edith. Take that town. Take that down to nine because this torch is burning for about an hour. Edith, that feet. Eat that feet. Eat the feet. Eat the feet. Eat the feet. Isn't that what somebody said? Isn't that someone's like calling for like when they're to kick someone? Eat the feet. Eat the feet. That's actually what Eat Leonidas uh, said to that ambassador from Persia before he kicked him into the pit. <laughs> Eat the feet. Madness. Eat. The feet. <laughs> okay, are we all in? It looks like the only one yeah. we're waiting on is okay. There we go. Hacker man, I'm in. All right, so I'm in. I'm in. He's in. Ugh. All right, so Zarmorn's lit okay, up a torch. Stop. If I remember correctly, at least three of you have explorers packs, right? Yes. Yeah. So you've got like a total of thirty torches between the five of you, or something crazy. Yeah, we should have enough torches. <laughs> And if Elin lights up uh, Produce Flame, then she can just hold it in her hand and use it as a light source. But she doesn't need to do that because elves have dark vision. Yeah, that's the thing. Dave, Elin, and Bram have dark vision for uh, heritage reasons. Zarmorn and Mordecai, no such luck. Mm. So you guys head back into the woods, I imagine, uh, after mm. eating and resting and doing everything you can at the uh, Bofors residence. It is getting dark, so hunting might be, like finding these guys might be a little bit difficult who's leading the charge into the back into the woods on the trail because now that you've traveled it you kind of know the way it should I be it... In, the, in the dark bram go oh, first well. yes bram's I leading the way shot. yes <laughs> bram is basically a tank and see in the dark all right should go bram's first. up ahead who's behind him yeah. marching over the torch should be up, up front all right i'll be with uh i'll be behind uh bram all right, then, then. I'll be behind the. Uh, I'll, I'll be in the back, making sure that nobody sneaks up on us. Okay. Good job, Mordecai, Elin. Uh, where are you guys in the marching you, order? I guess in the middle. <laughs> All right, then Elin. So Dave's at the very back. Uh, Mordecai yeah. is in front of him. Elin's in front of him. Zarmorn's in front of her, and Bram's uh, at the front. How tall is uh, Dave? Isn't he just like flat with five or, feet? <laughs> with or without the horns? He's a small boy. Without the horns. I have a spider with me, right? I have Bob, right? Yeah. Okay, all right. Kila, how tall are you? Uh, I am like four foot fifteen, so five foot something. So five foot one, I guess. I don't know. Gotcha. That'd be four. That'd be five foot three. <laughs> yeah, that. What he said. Oh, also, also, um, the the uh, Bob has like thirty feet of dark vision. Oh, Bob does. Hang on. How about I just? Yeah. How about I just make you a token for Bob then? I'd love to make this guy smaller, but oh dear. Uh, advanced. <laughs> oh god. <laughs> Did you say he has oh 30 feet of dark vision? <laughs> yeah, 30 feet of dark vision. All right. Uh, save changes. Continue to edit token. This is about to look really stupid. It just works, so. It just works. <laughs> well, if you do the thing and you do it right, and you, and you don't, don't fuck, fuck it up, it, up, it oh, works. It just works. That's your little spider oh token. God. I'd make them smaller, but I haven't scaled the uh, map to Dude, do that's that. That's terrifying. All that I matters is that you know you have your spider with you and he can see in the dark. Yes. Okay. Uh, with that, you guys are heading up the trail back the way you came. It takes you another 30 minutes, and it's getting dark, but with a torch and dark vision amongst most of you, uh, you can see everything's kind of... You can see everything's sort of all right. 
Um, bear in mind, Zarmorn, holding a torch uh, means that you basically have one hand occupied, and it's not like you can fire a bow with one hand. Yeah, but I can put the torch down. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Oh, sure, just burn the whole fucking forest down, why don't you? No, I just, like, stab the, like, stab the base into the ground, like, next to Go me or close to me. Uh, yeah, I mean, right. he could do that. Do you not have melee weapon, right? I have two swords, but, uh, I don't know, they're kind of crap. He's got a horny bow, he should be fine. Shut up, Akis. Wait, do you have, like, a, do you have a sword chord? A Short. Mm -hmm. a, a short sword. I do not have two short swords. When Zaramor runs out of ammunition, he takes out a short sword. He becomes Archer from Fate. He just pulls. He just pulls back the short sword and fires it. What? I can. I can give you a hand axe. <laughs> I don't think I'm good at. I, I think I'm going to be at disadvantage if I try to uh, lift the hand axe. Uh, oh, yeah. You might, as a ranger, okay. I think you're proficient in hand you. axes actually, so you could use it. Oh. It's a thrown. Well, it's a, the thing is, it. it's a thrown weapon, and it's much shorter range than, say, a bow, and it uses your strength <laughs> instead of your dexterity. But you're already using your strength for damage on that bow, so. I can give you a javelin instead. It has longer range. Sure, I'll take a javelin. Um. Okay. How many javelins? Just give me one. How many? Just How one. many? Just one. You'll take. So. I, I mean, I did take the body that, that uh, your javelin was embedded into, so once we took it back, it was just taken up. Oh, uh, okay. Okay, so I have five javelins total. Um, I guess Zarmon add one to uh, your inventory. And that means, Bram, you're down to what? Four? Five. Five. Oh, that's right. You got a total of six. Cause, yeah. Okay. So Zarmon's got a javelin. Uh, any other preparations as you guys walk up the path? Um... I'm guessing I don't have an awful lot of room to go swinging a mace in this, in the forest. You have enough room. Uh, like, they were attacking you with swords, and Bram was, well, Bram wasn't doing much, but. Uh, <laughs> On his ass. Yeah. <laughs> it's just that the brush is kind of hard to step through in this part of the forest. All right. It hinders movement. It doesn't necessarily hinder attacks. Yeah, okay. Then I'll, I'll have my mace out and ready. All right. All right. I'm gonna Adam, do that again. I'm going to have my short bow out and ready. All right, Elin, uh, you're on edge, and as you walk past the uh, checkpoint, you just kind of flinch, looking left and right, remembering, oh, that's right, that's where I was turned into a shish kebab. <laughs> again? Not the, yeah, I was about to say, not the first time. Never again. I'm not going to be Fuck the you, last. Dave. This time, I will be the one shishing the kebab. <laughs> shushing the kebab. <laughs> Wait, does that mean you're going to be shushing me? <laughs> Remove kebab all over again. I am the kebab. Remove kebab. <laughs> kebab now. Hello, oh. yes. Hello, I am kebab. <laughs> In case you uh, want to know, here's the here's the information on Bob. Info on Bob. Oh, yeah. you have uh, you've yeah. actually looked up the spider yeah. stats. Nice. Yeah. Spider can climb difficult surfaces, including upside down and on ceilings. Uh, when in contact with the web, it knows the exact location of any other creature in contact with the web. And it can make a small bite attack that does one point of piercing damage and a d4 of poison. <laughs> That's cute. Oof. This is cave spiders all over again. <laughs> oh no. Downside is, oh, no, 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 no. good luck using him in a fight. He's only got one hit point, though. So if he just, if like, he's on the ground and nobody notices and he gets stepped on... Uh, yeah, Dave has to spend 10 gold bringing him back, basically. Ah. Oh. This is... Tequila. I use him, use him in combat, reasons. just use him for his, like, abilities. Yeah. I use him for sensory reasons. He's got, like, web sense. He's got the spider sense. I think because you've got a familiar, you can kind of store him magically on your person as an action. Yeah, I, like, I have a pocket dimension, baby. Okay, yeah. Uh -huh. All right, so with this marching order, as you guys are uh, oh, yeah. walking up the same path, passing by the same point where you're ambushed, Elin looks nervous and, like, rolls the shoulder that still has bandages over the bite that knocked her down. Uh, and you guys walk up and you realize the bodies uh, from the fight have been moved. And as you walk forward, oh, you can no. see over okay. here that all three bodies have been strung up oh. and basically nailed to three separate trees it it looks kind of like they've been crucified they've got their arms out and they're hanging and like their heads I are down one of the knoll beg your pardon i took one of the knoll. oh that's right you did take the knoll okay uh, then it's just the goblins uh, are you proficient with like a skinner's kit or something like that do you have proficiency with like a tool set that you use for hunting uh, i mean i do have a skinner's kit 
Uh, all right, then roll a dexterity test with uh, advantage real quick, just to see how well you skinned this thing. Or uh-huh. You skinned this okay. thing during the short rest. Two. Well, actually, if you're not... Wait, if you're not proficient with the kit, then it's just a straight d20 roll. Uh, wait, plus your dexterity. That's gross, Akilah. Here we go. I'll throw a 14. <laughs> uh, you do a good enough job. I mean, there's some small tatters of, like subdermal fat hanging off of some parts of it, but it's mostly clean. Uh, any teeth? Uh, you could pry the teeth out of the skull easily. Sure. Oh, uh, that's a trophy. <laughs> uh, I'll take all four canines. Isaiah, all right. Isaiah, do you remember from, uh, from Bleach? Okay. This isn't a sword. I only use bows and arrows. Quincy's only use bows and arrows. <laughs> Fucking brutal. I love that. I never finished Bleach, but I want to. All right, Zarmorn, add to your inventory uh, null skin, five pounds, and null teeth times four. Like the skin, does that look like from like any good good enough animal? It's like it was patched together from the hides of a bunch of different creatures. You see hints of beaver, hints of wolf, hints of what looks like squirrel or rabbit or something like that. Ew. Like he All just right. stitched <clears throat> a bunch of different animal skins together to make something equating a leather vest. Hobo wear. Yeah, how exactly. Much, how, much, how many pounds was this? The null skin is five, actually, let's say ten pounds. Knolls are big creatures, and the skin and, that you uh, got is pretty decent. Four. Uh, the teeth don't weigh, their, their weight is negligible. You don't have to worry about okay. it. Perfect. It's only once you start carrying 30 or 40 null canines around with you that we start worrying about weight. I mean, if there are any more gnolls on this map, then uh, they better believe they're going to be missing some teeth. Yeah. Didn't you do, like, 15 points of damage to that null last game? Yeah, but only uh, only one arrow hit. Yeah, okay. So then I, I you like have a story for... No, head. here's the thing. You have a story for that guy back at the hunting ah, shop. Perfect. Hey, Isaiah? Yep. Uh, I just realized, I find this very funny. The spider I have has the same, uh, has the same score of wisdom as I. <laughs> <laughs> what? What is your ten. fucking wisdom score, my dude? Ten. <laughs> Shit, man, you only got ten whiz. That's gross. Why is Dave such a degenerate? All right. That's, that's what incredible. Are, what are you, so. What are you smoking? <laughs> Fuck. Dave's one of those kids who somehow gets into a fucking university and gets a degree, but has no idea what he's doing the Wait, entire they, time. Like you and me. Hey, you and I are smart. Yeah, true enough. No, they are. How the fuck did you make it this far? All right, then, as you guys walk up the road, uh, the, the trail that you took past the point where you were ambushed, you see nailed up to the to some of the trees just off the path are the two goblins that you killed. And they're hung up kind of like they've been crucified. Their arms are out, like, tied or nailed to branches, and their heads are just lolling down, their feet are together in a sort of skeleton and mordecai and dave though they're at the back of the group they see this and they kind of take a note of it because they took note of the significance of the symbolism in the uh back on the farm the way they're hung up with their arms out and their feet together is the sort of skeleton of an inverted triangle as if you were taking a line from the center and drawing it out to the points as opposed to drawing the three sides of the triangle the price of failure all the while, Dave, Dave thinks to himself, an isosceles triangle feels fast. Bram, I... well, since you're closest, roll a perception test. All right, with a 14, Bram, as you walk up and you just kind of look at the head, you see Bram, like, reach up and grab the head and turn it from left to right. No eyes, no tongue. Mm. It's been taken out of the head. What is okay, this? Zarmon kind of, like, sneered, like, ugh, they know we're coming. They're expecting mm. us. While Dave goes, how can you be sure? So I grab his horn and I kind of like bend his waist, bend, bend his neck so he sees the bodies. He's see those guys? Tw- he's 15 feet behind you, dude. You can't. Yeah, he, he, he goes stretch Armstrong. His arm just fucking cartoonishly mm-hmm. stretches to Dave. Fine. All right. I'll, I kind of point at the bodies with the javelin in my other hand. And I'm like, you see those guys here? They used to be alive before we met them. This morning. Oh. Shit, I thought they were, I thought they were dead or something. Like, you guys killed them. We did. Zarmon kind of face sounds we did. We did. Yeah, we did kill them. But this is what happened afterwards. Ah, while, okay. while you were playing patty cake with your spider, we were killing these guys. And now they know, and they're probably pissed. Ah. Okay, yeah. Okay, alright. I, I, see, I see the error in my logic now. 
Do you? Yes. I don't think you do. I don't think he ever does. Making a lot of assumptions there, aren't we? Yes, yes I am. Yes, well, stop that. Stop making assumptions. I mean, it's not much assumption when I kind of see it in front of me. When? Oh, for fuck's sake. No one's just gonna ignore the name. Probably a wise idea. Alright. With my last breath, I curse Dave. Alright, then, uh, with these bodies sort of in mind, what do you guys decide to do? Poke with a stick. Elan's just stepping up and poking with her walking stick. With my, with my bow, just like. I would like to. I would like to take the lead and just like sneak a little bit ahead. All right, roll a stealth test. Ooh. Right. Are you staying on the path? Mm -hmm. or Are you trying to go through the brush? Um. Actually, I'm gonna go through the brush. Okay. And you make it to about here. Roll a stealth test. Uh, let's see, it's a... Uh... Oh, sh wait, don't you have a torch on you? Yes. Alright, roll stealth with dis... Well, actually, you can't really do that then, because you have a giant glowing torch on you. Yeah, can I leave the torch? You want to leave the torch with who? With, uh, Bram. With Bram. With whoever, whoever has the empty hand. Uh, probably Bram, actually. I'll give it to Bram, and, like, I, I can't sneak around, try to look for... Okay. I, I, they probably also need a light source to see, so. I mean, uh, yeah, kind of. Uh, light too bright. 18. Uh, 18 nice. stealth. All right, and Bram's got the torch? Yes. You okay, to then or... uh, that stealth is good enough. Yay. Uh, you sneak through the brush, uh, seemingly undetected. Um, looking around, uh, just from the light, you don't see uh, much else. Can, do I notice if anything's like hiding in the bushes? Uh, from your position, can you see anything? Uh, let's see. Yeah. Uh, not really. Then it looks like you uh, have no damn clue. You can't really see anything. Yeah. I guess not. Alright, uh... I will... I would like to, like, keep sneaking, like, uh, <laughs> this way. Kind of, like, see if I can... Alright, every three it. spaces, move three spaces, and then roll a stealth test each time. Alright. Ooh. So, one, two, two. Going to the goddamn tree. <laughs> ah, everything's dark now. I'm inside the tree. Yeah, okay, then you can't really do that. You can move here, though. Ah, uh, okay, spell check. Twelve. Uh, as far as you know, you're still being stealthy. You shift some of the bushes around a little bit, but... Nothing is <laughs> happening exactly. Mm. All right, so one, two, three, four, here, and I'll check ten. Ooh, it's getting worse and worse. Uh, mm -hmm. As you, <sighs> all right, as you step there, all of you back behind him. What are you doing while he's sneaking ahead? Elin and Bram are just kind of poking at the bodies. Uh, uh, I'm going to stick with the group at large because I am fairly squishy, all things considered. Okay. Dave? Dave? Oh, does he, did he disappear? Yeah. He... Oh, shit. Oh. Alright, we'll assume he's um, doing the Bernie in the back with Bob. Uh... Let's say, let's just say he's playing Paddy Cake with a spider. Again. Sure. Again. Uh, then, in that case... <laughs> Do the meme again. Alright. Uh, that's a thing. 
try. What oh, just happened? I'll be back. Sorry about What's that. Oh, okay. Um, I was just asking. Zarwan's sneaking ahead, and his stealth has been slowly getting worse. Uh, before he what something happens, Dave, what are you and Bob doing? Mordecai, Bram, okay. and Elan are just kind of poking at the bodies. Oh, okay. So, uh, I'm gonna send uh, Bob uh, to like in this direction. Wait, wait. How do I, how do I click? How do I do the circle clicking thing? Uh, you uh, should have cursor selected. You gotta press and hold. Oh, oh that. So, gotcha. In, in this direction, uh, hiding in the trees and just like, you know, surveying the land and whatnot. Hiding in the trees over here, let's say? Yeah. Okay, then Bob is over here. And do you want to magically tap into his senses? Yes. Okay, then you can basically see what he sees. Yeah. He sees everything. What does he see, Akila? Tell us. Not a whole lot. Spiders don't see very well. He sees a moth, and he really wants to eat that moth. He's right. moth. As you guys are just kind of doing your thing with the bodies, um, are you just poking them? Are you trying to get something out of them? or? Yeah. All right. You guys yeah, just we're kind of... we're like, huh? Yeah. Okay, you guys yeah. are just kind of fooling around with the bodies, and over in the woods off to your right, you hear a the familiar twang of a bowstring and a reptilian cry of pain. Zarmorn, a arrow has just slammed into your shoulder and pierced right through it for twelve points of damage. Ah wow oh, shit. Lord. That is not ideal. <laughs> How much health are you at now? Uh, I took 12 points of damage. Yeah. I'm at 9. That's what I thought. Ah, uh, I do not like that. Yeah, and here's the thing, you have no clue where it came from. Or what, roll a perception test. Don't fail me now, roll. 14. Uh, you don't see where that came from. Alright, mm. uh, Did it sounds like, help? it sounds like we're rolling initiative then. Uh, everybody... Start up. Ooh, nice. Roll plus dex. Uh, eight again. Ten. Don't worry. I will save you. Fifteen. Ooh. Are you kidding me? Bram yeah, got a twenty-one. Jesus. Bram saved me. No, no, I got a nineteen. Oh, you got a nineteen. Uh, sorry. Yeah. I just. I'm I'm seeing numbers, Mason. What do they mean? Numbers, Mason, what do they mean? Actually, I can tell you. I did a swearing. Why? I'm swearing because you guys... <sighs> Fuck. This We're is dead. Nullified I don't... I we need to stop up. using these crystal dice. Like, they... They roll a little too well. Yes, your fault we were losing. Yeah. You blame the DM. Let's all blame the DM. Exactly. Let's all blame because the DM. Of, yeah, because uh, blaming the DM makes the game better. Yes. I mean, blame that, the hand that that's, us. that's why I'm here. Could I, could I be to blame? No, the DM is at fault. <laughs> is it possible yeah. I went too far ahead and didn't do the right thing and left my party behind and now I'm going to be destroyed in the woods? No, the GM is just an asshole. <laughs> uh, yeah, screw you, GM. Uh, Mordecai, initiative? Uh, yeah, I rolled a 5 plus my 3 is 8. All right, then it looks like... Uh... I rolled a 10. All right. Um, out of the woods again, another arrow comes a fire in. But I take it like a, a nine doesn't hit you? No, it doesn't. <laughs> okay, then uh, from up ahead over here, you see from behind this tree, a goblin. Oh, shit. Dude, my is a bad. goblin steps out and starts running. At me? Te no, away from you. Uh, he's injured you, but he's too. Like... That's it. I said, my, my screen is black. I can't see anything. Little fucking uh, move your token around. Can you see your token? Yeah. Wiggle him around a bit. Okay. Oh, oh my god, I can see now. Ta-da. I'm no longer blind. Wow. Look at that. Segment. And there's Bob. Yay. Yeah. Back up to the top. Back up to Bram. Uh, you hear what sounds like Zarborn getting the crap kicked out of him. Wait, does Bob have to also roll initiative? Uh, no, he when he acts when you spend a bonus action to tell him to do something, basically. Got it. I'll use him basically to, to survey the landscape and tell me what he sees. Okay. Like a scout. Oh, he's, you're trying to push him through those trees? 
Yes. Oh, okay. You can, you can climb. I mean, he, he's so small, they, they won't even notice him. Ah, smart. Bram is thinking out, I mean, Dave is thinking outside the box for one. Yeah, that's so out of character. All right. Uh, well, now he's got some utility. Now he's not just magic missiles and fog clouds. Uh, <laughs> so, Bram, okay, what would you so like to do? Dave, let's see. Zarmon is stuck. In... He gave me his torch, right? Yes. Okay. Shit. You have the torch. Yeah. All right, all right, all right. Um, this UI, man. I, I got to think about what's a good idea. I think I want to move here, but I want to be on guard with a, a javelin in case anything comes out of trees here. Turns out it was never the tree. It was always the tree. Sorry, so <laughs> can I move here? Uh, where? Like here. 5, 15, 20, 25. You can move here. Okay. Yeah, that's good. And I want to... Um, if I'm going to ready a javelin and aim it next turn, I'm going to try to help Zarmor. Okay. Your action is readying a javelin to throw. Okay. Yes. Zarmor, it's your turn. Can I take the torch from Bram? Is it close enough? Is your movement working? Uh... We'll say as your movement, you can spend ten feet of well, you can spend five feet of your movement to get over there to move back to here and grab the torch from him. Yeah, I'll grab the torch from uh, Raven Bram. All right then. All right. Uh, oh yes, I see him now. Yep. <laughs> can I attack him? I still have the javelin ready. Yep. Uh, throw it if you want. And right. Bram, you can kind of barely see the goblin over there now that Zarmorn sees it. Uh, if you want to loose your javelin, then you can do that. Oh, yeah. What's the uh, range on Javelin you. again? Uh, yeah, since he's beyond 30 feet, but still within 120 feet, you can attack him, but you have disadvantage on the rolls, both of you. What about the... What about the what 21. About the... Hell yeah. Oh, wait. I what, what, oh. The... Yeah. <laughs> oh, my God. Wait, what? It hits. Oh, that's not good. Oh, fuck. Oh, All right, so, yeah. Bram, you don't know where your Javelin goes. You're not recovering that one anytime soon. Uh, Zarmorn, on the other hand, your javelin flies true and it strikes. Roll a, I think it's a d6 for damage, and you add your strength modifier. Very pissed, with an arrow sticking out of his shoulder, Zarmorn just yeets! Oh, my pistols almost fly off, flew off. He yeets the, the javelin straight at the goblin and deals 9 damage. He hurls that javelin. Oh, no. oh, it's still rolling, never mind. Oh, yeah. 4 damage. Alright. Ah, then the javelin, the javelin, the javelin, uh, slams into the side of the goblin and it sticks but the goblin uh, grabs it pulls it out it's oh, by shit. no means an it's by no means a, a superficial wound but he uh definitely survived the hit at the far back dave it's your turn okay. so i have a question can i prepare spells you should have prepared spells uh at the beginning of last session so after a long rest you oh, pick right, which yeah. spells you want to be able to cast for the day, and you can prepare, I think, four. Yeah, I forgot to do that. Okay, can we do it now? Or... Just, yes, do it now. But every okay. time the session starts, and I say long rest, you have a chance to prepare your spells. Okay, um, so first things first, I'm going to, uh, I guess I'm just going to move. Uh, how far can I move again? 30 feet, so six squares. Okay. But um, if you go off the beaten path here, if you go off yeah. this light green trail onto the darker yeah. green, then it counts yeah. as difficult terrain. Oh. Huh. I guess I'll just... Two, three... I'll move, like, somewhere here? Alright, then you can make it to about here with 30 feet of movement staying on the path. And do I have a bonus, act bonus action? Uh, yes. I want to move my spider... I'm going to keep continuing... He's continually making Bob weave through the forest, so like he's like going somewhere. Maybe he's he's headed in this. He's headed in like this direction. Oh, his name finally makes Bob and weave. <laughs> oh, cause he's a spider. <laughs> <laughs> I don't even think Akila meant to do that. I know he didn't. <laughs> I didn't, but I'm gonna pretend I did. It's <laughs> too brilliant for Akila. <laughs> Yeah, that, that I, will, I will give you that. That is too brilliant for me. So what does Dave do? My... Dave, so after moving, did he move? Should uh, I move him? Dave is where you want, okay. right there. He can make it there. Yeah, yeah, okay. So, I mean, it's not like he can really do much from here. It's nothing really for him to... 
fight because you can't really see anything that can attack that you can take on. So not much. So he's just gonna, he's just gonna chill there, uh, wait for something to happen. All the while he commands Bob to continue weaving through the woods. All right, Bob continues to try and uh, weave through the woods, uh, and that's Dave's turn. Mordecai, what's up? Wait, did Bob move? Bob, tell you what, yeah, Bob has moved. Okay. Oh Jesus. Okay, no, but you correct. can't see that yet because you have to take an action to tap into your uh, familiar oh, senses. Right. Oh, okay, right. That's thirty feet to get to there. Yeah. Right. Yep. Well, since oh, I don't shit. trust, since I don't trust Elin the Elven Pincushion or Dave, <laughs> Dave, uh, <laughs> to protect me, I'm gonna head up to where the tanks are. All right. Uh, yeah. expect them to protect you. Welcome to the winning side. Can you, out of, out of curiosity, can you see the goblin? I guess actually you can't with two of your teammates, by the way. Uh, I cannot see. No, I can see no fish. So, uh, Mordecai, what do you want to spend your action on? Dashing? Readying? Yeah, I'm going to ready myself so that if anything comes out of like the brush around us that was hiding, I just cave its head in. All right, with the mace? Yeah. Okay, Elin, your turn. Yeah, I was going to move up to where the tanks are because I don't trust myself. <laughs> <laughs> it's Just leave Dave by himself. Uh, yeah. you can, uh, cutting through the brush, you can easily uh, make it to uh, here with 25... Wait. Here, using 25 feet of your movement. Okay. And we are going to move right there. Nice. Uh, you can't really see much from that angle, I imagine. Mm -hmm. No, I cannot. Then, what would you like to spend your action on? Well, I've already readied my bow, so my bow's already up. Mm -hmm. So there's not much else I can do, is there? That was 25 feet, right? 25 out of your 30 feet, yeah. Okay, I think I'm going to move here. Ooh. Right? That, or no? Uh, well, hang on a second. You have 10, move. 20, yeah, 25... This would be 30. If you take... Oh, yeah. This would be 30. You could move here or here because of the way diagonals work in the game. Every okay. second diagonal counts as 10 feet instead of 5. No, I think I'm just going to stay where I am because last time I was kind of in, in between trees. So I think I'm just, just going to stay there. All right. Good idea. Uh, back up to that goblin. <laughs> 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 I look away for one second. <laughs> the the best part is nobody else can see it. Yeah, and uh, Zarmorn, from where you see that goblin, <laughs> he just runs. Wow, ah, uh, coward, little bitch. Probably gonna inform whoever else is there. It's the cobalt thing all over again. All right, back up to. Uh... Bram. Bram, mm -hmm. you only barely caught sight of the guy, but uh, he ran off around the corner over there. Mm. Howdy. But I missed. Uh, not much. The goblin ran the fuck away, and Elin is too scared to move too far forward and in between trees. Congratulations. Uh, I've succeeded as a DM by making a wood elf afraid of the forest. <laughs> <laughs> well, well, I mean, she, she, like, Elin, she probably, call, like, call, call upon some, like, Okay, I like to imagine that like for every time she gets hit by an arrow, it's like the same wound every time. <laughs> like this goes in the is. same spot, comes out the other same. Like goddamn the arrow goddamn. catching orifice. Yeah, <laughs> like the same goddamn hole every single time. Elin's official. Goddamn it, it's just healed. Elin's officially your uh, magical item, an elf of arrow catching. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, that's so mean. Yeah, that's mean. Yeah. Uh, actually, uh, with this, are you guys still combat ready, basically? Yes. All right, yeah. Bram, it's yeah. your turn. What would you like to do? Yeah, I had a jab. Wait, no. <clears throat> I, it's gone. Can I move here? Uh, you can move here. The brush gets really thick there. Okay. Uh, I'm going to move there. You know... Dave okay. has a really crazy idea. Uh, if you want to try and push through the brush, you can make uh, an athletics check. It's going to be difficult, though. Yeah, I'll do it. Do I roll with a disadvantage? Yes, <clears throat> roll athletics with disadvantage. 
So or no, just roll athletics. athletics. High number, come on. <clears throat> the trees are really clustered together and the brush is really uh, thick. Uh, you can't push through. All right, uh, that's kind of your turn. Zarmorn. I, I will kind of attempt the fame of trying to like run through the brush so you can run up to about here or here-ish and try to push through yep okay uh roll an athletics test yeah 23 oh my god okay uh wow. Zarm where bram fails to push through the brush you just see zarmor run <clears throat> past you and just do a cannonball like, like jump into this uh area of thick brush and he <clears throat> just boom lands on the other side can I Damn. move? Can I still move? Uh, I still move. Uh, you still got. You were where? Here? 5, yeah. 10, 15. That moment, Bram, 15, like, 20. Gotta... You still have two. Uh, you have 10 feet more feet of movement. Go right here. Out of curiosity, how, how well can you see right now? Oh, you still got the torch. Yep. Uh, what are you attacking him with? All right, I will, st I will like stab the handle of the torch into the ground, and I will pull out my bow and arrow. All right. Zomo made a jump. Wait, I gotta see this. Ten. Thank you. All right. Ten. So. Let's see. Uh. Zomo, do a jump. Ten. <laughs> do a jump. Eleven. Does it hit? Uh, no. The arrow whizzes past him. I think I think I spiritually sympathize with the spider. Small, many legs. You make beautiful things that other people just destroy. <laughs> <laughs> All right. I'm alarmed by the many legs thing, but don't be. Uh, you haven't you haven't seen what's under my robe. Shut up. That's Zarmorn's don't turn. You know Dave, what would you like to do? I want to use uh, an action to see what the hell Bob sees. All right, then, as an action, you tap into your mystical connection with your familiar Bob. Uh, he sees past the tree line over in this area to the, kind of the rest of the open field that Zarmorn uh, went into. And more specifically, he can see with it basically in black and white, like night vision, he can see there's a tree here, a rock over here, and behind the rock, kind of propped up against it, but looking around a little confused is another knoll. Ah. Fucking yeah. bum, 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 bum. Another goddamn knoll. Can you knoll. really quick stream what you can see? Uh, sure. Uh, sure. My The UI is like blocking most of the shit. Right here. Yeah. I don't know. That settings. Wrong thing. Uh, do I do this again? So I do have a bonus, a bonus action still? Uh, you have a bonus action and you have a move. Okay, so move wise, I'm gonna try to. Um, Dave's gonna try to like. Uh, Dave's gonna go around to to the forest. Wait, 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 wait. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Dave's gonna basically try to cross the. He's Break like, through like, the brush over here, for example. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> okay, five. Uh, he's gonna, he's, Fifteen. He's got, a, he's got a suicidal plan that he wants to enact. All right, then. <laughs> uh, more roll jokes. an athletics test. I rolled a 10. Wait, nobody else used the torch? Uh, Dave, you almost run straight into a tree. but And you can't break through the brush. Damn it. Alright, uh, as of, do you want to do anything as a bonus action? Uh, I mean, so much I could do with the spider, since he's the person who I want to sight. So, um, let's see, what can I fucking do? Look at my spells and I can't for a second, wait. You can't cast anything, because you've used your action for the turn to tap into Bob's senses. Ah. So, that's it for you, I guess. Yeah, that's it for me. All right. Elin, it's your turn. Uh, um, hmm. uh, seeing Bram and hearing Dave struggling with some of the brush over in this area, do you choose to do the same? I want to risk it. Can look like a fool, but yeah. <laughs> I mean, I'm already the shish kebab. Let, let I, I just imagine, like, <laughs> I'm just over there, and I just hear, like, a bunch of people get stuck in the bushes. <laughs> <laughs> like what the fuck? You're just like amateur. Uh... Yeah, I'm an amateur and the fool. I have a question. Can dragonborns grow a beard? Uh, so... they don't have hair, so I wouldn't think so. Oh, oh, a beard of scales. That that's not how scales work. They can. Oh, older dragonborn are known to grow in horn-like protrusions from their chin, reminiscent of a beard. Yes. <gasps> a horn beard. A horny beard. Very That's funny, Akila. Thanks for ruling. Thanks for ruining it. 
You're welcome. Okay. Hey, you know what? I think I'm gonna try and go through the bush like everyone else is. All right. Uh, pick a spot. Welcome. Okay. Welcome to Dungeons and Dragons uh, Olympics. Today we have Elin. Can I do it over here or like in this general area? Five, ten. You can make it here with twenty feet of movement. Yeah. Okay. Then I guess I'm going here. Okay. Then make an athletics test. What? Eighteen. Elin breaks through. You land nice. right here with 25 feet of movement used in total. The ground is open. Uh, you guys are basically kind of in a clearing with a few scattered trees and a very obvious path winding through. Zarmorn, now that you've stepped up here, you can't... You see some sort of... Some kind of hovel over here in the distance. Ah. But you can't make it out enough with the uh, vision that you've got. Elin, you burst through and you see the little shit over there. Burn them! Burn them! Do you it! Have, you have ten more feet of movement and uh, an action you can make. You know what? Yeah, let's. I already have my bow. Can I put my bow away and do produce flame? Uh, if you just got your bow out, then you've also yeah. still got one hand free. So yeah. Oh no, because I'd ready the. Why bow. is there a second goblin on the turn chart? Oh, okay. Uh, <laughs> stop! Stop <laughs> spoiling it for yourself. He's cloning. Just... Yeah. He's cloning. Uh, you know what? He's duplicating. He, yeah. <laughs> he gave birth to his own. Ch- Where are you he's, under- he's undergoing mitosis. Sorry, what was that? <laughs> I said, "Where I'm standing, am I able to hit the goblin, or would I have to move?" No, you can hit him. All right, I'm gonna drop, drop the arrow. Use produce flame because apparently produce flame is amazing for me. It works every time. <laughs> <laughs> We've given up on using a bow and arrow. I mean, she completely yeah, nuked that you. one goblin in the last session, and... Yeah. yeah. Um, yeah, so then it's a plus. 17. 17 hits. Passing that arrow off the same hand that the bow's got, you hold your uh, free hand out, and familiar, warm, red, and orange flame springs Ooh. up from your palm Ooh. and <laughs> leaps towards... <laughs> Fuck, these woods. The funny thing is, Elin mapped these woods a little while ago, and... Now it's just like, now Do she's like want? a Vietnam vet. It's just. <laughs> when the right. trees start speaking, Vietnamese. Let's see how much damage. <laughs> when the Stop. trees start speaking, Goblin. Light it up. <laughs> when the trees start speaking. <laughs> when, when they the stop. Oh, Jesus. When is the... that seven? Right. It's a right. seven. All right. That Goblin is completely nuked. I'm when, telling uh, you. When the trees I'm start throwing fireballs. Arrow, just use fire. <laughs> Uh, Zarmorn, right in front of you, the <laughs> the little shit that you're having some trouble with, uh, suddenly you hear a crash through the brush next to you and Elin leaps through, takes, puts an arrow off into the hand that her bow is, hold, that's, being, that's holding her bow, holds her hand out and fire just <laughs> leaps onto that goblin and completely consumes him and now he's just laying there screaming, dying. That was just like, a little bit surprised, looks back and just sees uh, Elin like, it's just Fact. like a little bit, like surprise, and like looks back at the goblin, like. In fact, he since he's burning, uh, he's gonna give off some light. <laughs> oh god, <laughs> he's actually a fire. He's a little fire. <laughs> Elon is just gonna throw use control flame on everything. <laughs> oh god, you know it now. <laughs> it works. Fuck's sake. If you do the thing, <laughs> and you do it right, and you don't fuck it up, it works. It works. It just works. <laughs> oh, goodness. All right. Uh, that's Elin's turn, All unless right. she has something she can do as a bonus action. Nah, that's it. All right. Something. We're good. Uh, Mordecai, it's your turn. Okay. Well, uh, the torch is on the other side of this um, line of sight blocking wall. And uh, as we have previously established, <laughs> what was that? <laughs> Being as the only torch, for some fucking reason, is on the other side of that wall of foliage, which mm-hmm. blocks line of sight, and I presume light as well. Uh, um, line of sight, not necessarily light. You can kind of see it through there, but you're uh, in I the dark. I am an ordinary-ass human in a dark-ass forest. Can I see Dave and... Uh, Remember, that all of this is friend? happening more or less simultaneously, so you see Elin about to... You kind of see Elin about, to, like, you see Elin bursting through the foliage over there. And you can hear Bram and Dave struggling to do the same. And you see just, like, fire coming out of the other side of just, like... Alright, well, then I'm gonna do something on the lines of it. 
Then you make it to there, roll an athletics test. Eh, fucking hell, you guys. I couldn't <laughs> just walk along the path. No. Dude, we have to, like, <laughs> cut him off before he tells his friends. You're welcome. We're gonna kill them anyways. What's the... Fucking... Yes, but we can at least, like, they won't be... 16 plus my athletics, which is... You succeed. Two. You break through. Which is two, so... All right, good. At least we got some people on the other side. We got Bram and Dave All right. on the uh, other side. You can't You've got friends on the other side now. <laughs> you got friends on the other oh, side. Not your world. And I got friends on the other side. He's got friends on the other side. Uh, what do you do now? You still have an action, and you've used all your movement, more or less. Uh... Uh, I can't see anyone. I can. You don't see can... any hostile creatures, no. What Wait. is this thing over here? Uh, that's a tree, like an evergreen tree. Oh, I see. It's secretly a man in disguise as a tree. And this thing over here? That's uh, kind of an old stump that sticks up about five feet into the air. Yeah, I'm gonna use dash just to get that extra movement and uh, mm -hmm. drop oh, up over to here to take cover behind this tree. I don't see what the others are doing. Is that or... That's okay. Yeah, fuck it. Let me settle. Get fucked. Will you stop that? <laughs> uh, that wasn't a player. Uh, okay. Oh. Uh, so I'm gonna move. Where... I'm gonna move around. Uh, hold on. All right. To here. Okay. So I, I can take cover behind that tree. Okay. Uh, do it then. Presuming our enemies are somewhere outside of this little circle of friends. I just imagine eventually Dave just comes barreling out of the woods like, ah! Oh. Fire! Oh, wait, that's Bob. What happened, guys? I've been stuck in here for five five years. He's become a skeleton again. Right. <laughs> I became a skeleton, came back with the ability to use a bow and arrow. And I'm riding Bob. That better be in the compilation. Uh, that knoll that was on the edge of your vis on the edge of Bob's vision <laughs> Starts is on the move. If Bob was to go on the grass, would he be able to hide amongst the leaves? Yes, but there is a good chance if somebody stepped into the space he was in, they might just trample on him accidentally. Okay. Bob would be really good at hiding in there. Or intentionally. Not that Mordecai's trying to imply something, he's just... Oh, we're talking about Bob, not Dave. Okay. Oh. If somebody, bitch, if someone tried to step on me, my horns will basically impale their feet. Yeah. They try to step on your head. They're fucking blind hmm. and retarded. Hey, language. I mean, I mean oh, I'm sorry. Old, if right? they're visually disabled or retarded, <laughs> there you go. <laughs> uh, I'm still still working through some things here. Oh. I'm still working oh. through some things. I I'll do it again. <laughs> Murder. All right. I'll do it again. <laughs> Oh, do it again. Uh, all right, now we're back to Bram. Ah. Raisin Bram. You can mm -hmm. run, but you cannot hide. Raisin Bram is on your side. Shot okay. in the heart, and Dave's too plain, baby. You get bad rolls, a bad name. And then, and then mm. the guy. And then you keep... uh, can I try to force my way through again? Sure. Okay. Attack number two. We have Raisin Bram stepping onto the talent. We have Raisin Bram versus a tree. Fuck. Round one. No, you can't really do it. Uh, you can try to take a dash action, so you can basically try to move through again. Yeah, another athletics check? Yeah, but that'll be your action for the turn. It's going to be hilarious either way. Okay, good. Finally. Okay, Bram bursts through on this side. You have 25 more feet of movement. What is that? Somebody drawing their blinds. Uh, I don't blind. Uh, that blind made me blind. All right, Bram, you can move five more spaces. You want to move there? Yeah, can I do that? Life is fun. Or maybe here is better. Right by that tree. Yeah, you could do that. Yes. All right. Zoom. Okay. Uh, zoom, motherfucker. Zoom. Those of you with dark vision, those of you who uh, otherwise kind of have sight, 
Over here you can see what appears to be a hovel of some sort, a large stone hovel that Where? seems to be made out of the ruins of an old tower of some Where? sort. Where? Uh, here? Up over here, yeah. Ah, okay. Because ah, Bram has 60-foot dark vision, he can kind of see that now. And uh, the walls maybe go up to about 15 feet high, and it's old and surrounded by trees and covered in moss and just generally not like just yeah. generally in a state of disrepair and ruin uh, but that's that's it for bram zarmorn you're up torch is still on the ground by the way <clears throat> all right i'll pick up the shot i'm gonna stay off the path i'm gonna go uh, i'll go like right here all right so i have my torch in one hand wait actually i can see the other knoll yeah you can i guess uh you He's kind of like trying to take cover by that tree, but you see him, and he looks at you and bares his teeth. And actually, now that I think about it, as you step there, uh, basically this right here is kind of this stretched what looks to be a bearskin flap over an obvious entrance to the uh, tower. And as you right. step there, um, you see the flap parts. Ah. Uh, and an something emerges. And another knoll with a sort of cloak and staff and dagger at its belt peers oh, no. out, looks at you, points, and oh. fire leaps from the staff. It's a wizard off. Right oh, at you. Fuck. It's a competent wizard means it meets a dumbass wizard. Welcome to Jackass. It wasn't even his turn. No, but he was readying an action. Wow. Welcome to Jackass. 15 <laughs> against AC. Yes, that's it. Oh, this can either be really good or really bad. Mm. You're taking four points of fire damage. Okay. As a firebolt. So we got five health. Staff. So we got five right. health. Yep. Uh, what would you like to do for your action? He yeah. and his friend uh, north of you are exposed, so you can shoot at either one. I will. Uh, can I use a spell? Does that? Uh, you can if you want to. Yes. Could I still like use a spell and still attack? Uh, it depends on what action the spell takes. I think Hunter's Mark is a bonus action. All right. What about uh, Hunter? Would the Hunter's Thorn hit the two other guys as well? Uh, Hail of Thorn, sorry. Yeah, as a bonus action, you cast a spell. And the next time right. you hit a creature with a ranged weapon attack within the next minute, so the next 10 combat rounds, yeah. the spell creates a rain of thorns that sprouts from your ranged weapon or ammunition. In addition to the normally effect of the attack, the target of the attack and each creature within five feet of it must make a dexterity saving throw. Okay, so uh, that's going to hit a... none of them. Yeah, uh... That won't work. You can right. use a bonus action to Hunter's Mark, though. All right. I'll, I'll activate Hunter's Mark on the old big guy over here. The one who just firebolted you? Yep. Okay. Uh, you see it twitch a little bit as the magic takes hold. Uh, fire right. away if you're going to attack. Someone is fucking pissed, my dude. All right. So, uh, plus six, plus uh, you fire that arrow and it th thuds into the wall right next to him. Dave, it's your turn. Yep. I'm gonna continue trying to get out of the I'm out of the forest. Roll an athletics test. It's not gonna end <laughs> So the only good news is that it's not a natural one. But that you a... your whole movement action for the turn is spent struggling to push through a bunch of thick uh branches and between two trees. You can use your action to take the dash to basically get another move action to try again. All right, so do I do d20 again? Do a d20 plus your strength again if you want to, but that's your action. All right, here we go. Holy shit, that's exactly what you need. Okay. Oh my uh, god. You make it through. You've got 25 more feet of movement for your turn. Oh. Okay, I'm going to move. Uh, so see how far I can move. Uh... Somebody save my ass, because I am at 5 health, and okay. I am out in the open. I can't heal Zarmor, but can I patch him up, or can I drag him to count cover? Uh, <laughs> the tiny demon man grabs the giant lizard guy and pulls him away. Uh, as an act- well, here's the thing. Uh, you conjure Mage Hand as an action, and he just used his action to get a second chance at moving through the brush. So- Okay, here's my question. Can I- can I move- to this like cover here and more and cover. Okay, I'm on. Okay, uh, then move yourself there. Uh, sadly, you're gonna block Mordecai's line of sight if you go there. Sorry. 
This is for the greater good. Oh, it's not like he was doing anything important. It was like I was just dating him. <laughs> okay. Just uh, sniff my ass. Keep him company. No, just stand behind and just smell my ass. Dude, I have fire spells. If that guy fucking tries anything, we can. We can yes, move. you will throw a fireball up my ass. Thanks. Uh, stepping <laughs> forward from the tree up, up in front of you, uh, a knoll. One of the knolls. Hold on. Five, ten. Oh, what do you know? Uh, the knoll literally comes bounding almost on all fours and ah. tries to run a spear through you. Oh. 22 against AC. Of course it did. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry. No, I'm not. Uh, uh, you take... Wow, okay, that's lucky. You take three points of damage. Thunk. <gasps> And he, you can hear the, <laughs> the kind of hyena-like cackling growling up from its throat. Uh, uh, Elin, it is now your turn. Okay, so I'm going to move up. Each one is five, right? Yes. That's about 25, actually. 25? Okay. Yeah. Uh, I, can, I can see this. The, the... Yeah, you just saw the gnoll run up to Zarmorn and, like, ram a spear into his gut. <laughs> And it's cackling, and you can see just like faintly, like lifting up the flap of a dead bear's hide. You see what looks like a very obvious uh, scholarly-looking knoll, uh, one might say. I'm just gonna use Goose Flame and try and hit him. All right. Are you sure you're? Are you sure you're a ranger? You look like you look more druid. I'm not a ranger. I'm a druid. I'm you're a ranger. sounding like a, 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 a mage. Arsonist to me. Nature I just really, die. I just, I really want to draw well, Elon. Yeah, sadly that doesn't hit. But uh, regardless, I still just want to draw Elon holding her hand out like that, casting produce flame, and just saying, "Boy, <laughs> boy, uh, boy." Sadly, the fire it leaps past him and lands about right over here. But the knoll takes notice of you and flinches. Uh, Mortekai, it is your turn. Mortekai. Yes, it is. <laughs> Boy. Is this guy here dead? Which guy? No, he's alive. Yeah, he's very well alive and haven't taken any damage yet. Yes. Why does he look like he saw that on the ground then? Because that's the only good token I could find for a null, okay? <laughs> Alright, valid, I guess. <laughs> I rolled a four. That's an eight total. Uh, you miss, my guy. I'm Bram. Sponsored Raisin by Bram. Today I will be Bram. Clueless. <laughs> ha, yes. Bram. Bram good. Uh, wait, where did the null go? Uh, I'm, hang on. I'm proving a fucking point. All right, here. This null has a spear. Are you happy now? All right, uh, now it is out of the bushes here, something that none of you could see because he was hiding. Another knoll. 5, 15, 20, no. 30. No. Oh, no. With two hands. No. Oh. No, no, screw you. Screw you. That's an 11. <laughs> oh, thank God. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> We you were did. so relieved. Uh, uh, I have yeah. like, what, like three hit points or two? Yeah, like so two? you see the other one running up to try and hit you, but you uh, manage to <gasps> suck in your gut and the spear just passes right by you and you're like, oh boy. <laughs> oh no. No, 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 no. Uh, Bram and Elin, both of you roll perception tests. All right. Wait. Oh, Jesus, now you're rolling well. Uh, off over here yeah. to the right side, you can hear the I... rustling of branches as something is dashing through the, uh, b dashing alongside the trees. And Bram, since you kind of have visual on that area, you can see that there is a goblin skulking around over there. God damn it. Sorry, which, where? Here? There. You can, you, can, you can see the goblin, right? Oh, yeah, I see him. Okay. All right. And yeah, you can okay. see him, and Elin can hear basically what's going on, but a tree's in the way, so she can't, like, get eyes on him. Oh, it is now the sorcerer's turn again. The null sorcerer. And he... Oh, oh really? Oh, it's him first. He can't attack me because I'm being blocked by the two assholes. What if he doesn't care? He well, steps he out. He fire, fire at them. 
friendly fire. Akila, shut up. The gnoll steps out, like, leaning on his stab bit as he walks forward maybe ten feet, letting the flap fall behind him. And he looks around, steps forward, puts two... He saw the firebolt. He looks at you, Elin. Oh, no. Steps up to here, points his staff at you, and a sickly black and red fire, the same kind that struck uh, Zarmor a moment ago, leaps to strike at you. That's a twenty-one against AC. Wow. Can I can I do can I do anything to help against that? Nope. I have a I have a question for you. Mm-hmm. If I have a spell that can absorb elements, do I have to ready that beforehand? Uh, you have to prepare it to use it during the day. If it's prepared, then I think it's, absorb it's elements. Like- is a bonus action to ca- or a reaction to cast. Well, can oh. I use absorb elements then? Because I do have a I think so. Hang on. Oh, shit. Elon's oh, being... Nice. Big brain moment. It says one reaction. One yeah. reaction, then you can use it. So it sounds like you have the damage you take from this, and then you have a nice opportunity to maybe punch this guy in the face on your next turn. But he still hits, and you're going to take... <laughs> Asshole. You're going to take three points of fire damage. All right. But uh, if you want to run up to him and hit him with a melee attack on your next turn, then not only do you, can you do that, but you get an extra d6 of fire damage. Drop kick. Drop kick with the fire drop kick. So the knoll, in the midst of combat, this knoll hobbles out of his little hovel there, points at Elin with his staff, and launches his own bolt of fire. But Elin lifts her, just in time, lifts her hand up, and the fire just splashes across this sort of fluid, invisible barrier that suddenly projected across her. It still licks up her hand and forearm, and she winces from the pain. But you see that fire crawl across her skin and almost sink in, like she's holding onto it, and she just clenches her fist as it is like sits right there in the center of her chest, this soft, glowing light that she's just ready to unleash if she gets the opportunity. And the knoll... A knoll is kind of a foreign expression to read, but the eyes... Or, but the ears, like, stand up when it sees that and cocks its head to one side as it stares at you, Elin. And then hear it speak in common. Impressive. Oh, ah. shit. With a dog-like smile. Bram, it's your turn. Do you think I can sneak up here and try to maybe hit, hit him in the back of the head? Sneak? Maybe to here. Maybe to, like, hmm. if you snuck around this tree... Or, sorry, yeah. this tree to uh-huh. right here ish. You would yeah. technically be concealed from him, but he could easily move and spot you because you're out in the open. I'm gonna, I'm gonna go kick his ass. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Can I run over there? 5, then... 15, uh, 20, 20. I think it's, hang on. It'd be 25 feet to make it about uh, here. So you could literally run up on him and smack him. Yes. All right. I'll do that. Then make your move and make your roll. Uh, and I attack <laughs> What is that? Sorry, experimenting a little. What the hell? Uh, you whiff, and the goblin ducks out of the way. Your axe just barely grazing across his wooden shield. He looks a little frightened and starts grabbing at his spear. He looked like he was about to get into a decent position and just start plinking at you within his bow and arrow, but he drops that thing with you up in his face and pulls out his short spear. But that's your turn. Uh, Zarmorn, you got two gnolls up in front of you, and they are not happy. <sighs> or no, they're I very happy, I, actually, can to I, see you. Can I disengage? Uh, yes, if you take your action to disengage, you can move without provoking an attack of opportunity. Okay. But that will... that would leave Mordecai and Dave's ass hanging out for the gnolls. Yes, but I have two Dude, health points. I have a plan. All right. Okay, 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 okay. I, okay, I was going okay, okay, okay. to tell uh, Zarmorn to duck, actually, if he didn't move. All right. Uh, I have a question. Mm-hmm. If I was to open my big old little lizard mouth... And I was a spit acid. Oh poison. shit! <laughs> what? I wasn't thinking about that when I moved these guys. Damn. Okay. Yeah, you can do that. Fuck. Ah, fuck. My sword fell. You have just activated my trap card. Haha! <laughs> you just activated my spit. Projectile vomit time. All right. 
How are you going to do the arrows? Uh, there should I be a little ruler and circle icon off to the left. Oh, that? You can also set it to snap the corners and no snapping. I find it annoying, but I prefer snap to center. I keep seeing you guys doing it. I'm like, I have no clue how to do that. All right. Uh, depending on how you angle it, uh, you can either get both of these guys. You can get the sorcerer and the guy right in front of you, or you can just get this guy. All right, I will, I will go with numbers. All right. I will... I will take way... a deep breath, and I will... You will let Matt decide. Because the way this works, um, 5, 10, 15, 5, 10, 15, it'll basically hit anybody in this sort of umbrella. That's what a 15-foot cone would look like. Okay. God damn. I will hit the guy, uh, like, yeah, I will hit the two, the, the two guys in front of me. All right. So if, if he was one oh, step shit. back, he could, he, if he was one step back, he'd be able to hit all three of them. Uh, yes. Yeah. But I'm not. But so, uh, well, comedy's fifty percent timing. Fifty percent timing and ten percent math. Uh, of course. If he... <laughs> all right. Uh, so what do I roll? Uh, you don't roll. That's the great thing about uh, Dragon's Breath is this is one of the abilities where they have to make a save. I think. So kind of Dragon's Breath should be down. Miss with a flamethrower. <laughs> you dodge the flame. It's an acid okay. or poison. The, the, okay, I, I would like to role play this part. Okay. All right, Zarma's at two hit points, and he's bleeding, and he's pissed. So he turns to the guy in front of him, don't hold your breath, and then takes a deep breath. <sighs> poison. Poison, okay. Uh, and what's the save DC on it? I think it's something like... Uh, 11. Constitution. 11. Okay. DC 11 Constitution. So they have to... And what's the damage? Uh, 2d6. Poison. Okay. They have to get an 11 or higher. If they do, they take half damage from the attack. If they don't, they take the full damage. Hell so, yeah. One of them rolled a flat 10 with no bonuses. <laughs> and Which gosh, one? Uh, the, one in front, roll the, the, the one in front of you. The sorcerer okay. rolled a nine, so they've both taken full damage from this. <laughs> nice. <laughs> okay. Okay, okay. So roll uh, two D two. So one, two, three, four. Let's kick these dogs to bed. So roll two D six. No, no, no. Uh, you, you killed it, alright. <clears throat> Head, shoulders, knees, and toes. Let's kick these dogs to bits. <laughs> <laughs> okay, roll two D six. Seven in total? Uh, that's what I got. The knoll in front of you starts sputtering and coughing. His friend barely ducks out of the way in time just to, like, avoid the blast of dragon's breath. The, um... W yeah, the sorcerer in the back get catches a whiff of it and just starts hacking up a lung. Just... <laughs> 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 and, uh, they're... They're definitely feeling the burn. Uh... That's your action. Do you want to do anything else? Uh, oh, what wait. Else can I do? You get to roll an extra d6 on Gosh because he's got Hunter's Mark on him. Oh, hell Ooh. yeah. So Ooh. an extra d6. Free. All right. 16. Okay. Jesus. Yeah, he's uh, he's not looking good. Like, you can see some of that poison breath of yours actually looped around the knoll in front of you. Most of it to actually attack at gosh almost or the the null sorcerer <laughs> all right then it's your turn dave all right zarmon kind of like accepts that in the next turn he's probably not gonna survive so he just like he tries to pay. like can, can like with my last for breath that. i spit at thee <laughs> with my last <laughs> breath like like my, like, uh, my last fuck you before i get knocked out all right dave so, yeah i have a question right mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. dave has a certain spell that has a cone of 15 feet of uh, range. Mm -hmm. And I'm wondering, could I set those to a blade? Uh, from here, if you start the cone right where Zarmorn is, you definitely could. Could I move, move up to where Zarmorn is and just set those two guys on fire? Uh, I guess I'll be right back. You could. The best place to, if you're just looking to set two of them on fire, uh, yeah. the best place to do that would be somewhere over here. Okay. Uh, but it occurs to yeah. you because you're not that smart, actually. Uh, <laughs> you could just step up here and get well. So this is this is what a cone effect would look like from you for fifteen feet. 
Okay. And uh, if you centered it like this, then... Yeah. Oh, hang on a second. No, it should be angled, because if I'm hitting it from there... Yeah. Well, this is assuming you step here and you center the cone right here. Yeah. But, uh, like, where do you where do you want to go to set this up, then? Okay, uh, let's see. Oh, wait Can a I minute. Like... Yeah. Don't you have sculpt spells? Uh, yeah. Okay, that means you could literally just cast it right on yeah, Zarmorn and say yeah, he doesn't take any that's, effect that's, from it. Yeah. yeah, that's why I was wondering if I can do it from where I am. Yeah, you can do that, and you could get all three of them from there. Yeah, I'll do that. All right. I'm going to set these assholes on fire. All right, then uh, from... Burning hands. Then behind you, Zarmorn, you hear an incantation. You feel heat rising behind you, and you just have this momentary realization of, this is it. I'm not going to get killed by gnolls. I'm not going to be struck down by a null sorcerer. I'm going to be burned by fucking Dave. <laughs> and since this is a level one spell, uh, you yeah. can designate two creatures to not be affected by it. Up to two creatures. Okay. I'm going to designate Zarmorn to not be affected. All right. Oh, then uh, Dave lifts his hands up and starts casting. And Elin, you see fire very similar to yours start to leap from his hands. And for a moment, you just go, oh, God. Oh, spirits. How is this going to turn out? And then he lifts his hands up like he's about to just slam them into Zarmorn's back, pushes pushes them forward, and the fire curls around Zarmorn as if it's about to, like, swallow him whole or, like, encase him like it's a mantle. But it flows around him, coalesces into a point right in front of his chest, and then just whoop, blasts out in this 15-foot cone of fire. Uh, now we're, you're getting three dexterity saves from these guys. These guys are a little bit better with this. Okay, first one rolled a flat one. Second one rolled a seven. And Gosh... Ooh, Gosh got uh, something pretty decent. Gosh got a 13. Damn it. So... I still have this, so, you know, it's not... Yeah, so Gosh takes half damage, but the other two take full damage. And so what is it? 13. Holy shit. And half of that would be, let's say, six. Yep. Uh, did I miss something? Yeah. Dave saved your ass. Oh, shit, what happened? Uh, essentially, you felt this heat and heard this incantation behind you, and you realized Dave might have been, was about to <laughs> set your ass something. on fire. And then Could fire, magical fire, you. just flows around you, collects into this point right in front of you and blasts out in this massive sort of dragon fire like eruption similar to what you just did and like engulfs all three fires first you get poisoned then you get burned <laughs> fuck this is like vietnam isn't it <laughs> <laughs> this is like vietnam the knoll right in front of you zarmor and you have the satisfaction of seeing a mirror to yourself, uh, out of character. He's at two. Uh, the knoll next to him, he's not doing much better. The knoll sorcerer behind them, he's definitely seen better days, but he's not nearly as bad off as his, his uh, as his friends. Is that all you're doing, Dave? Did, you're not going to move? One, this uh, one take damage? They all took damage. As Zorman just, like, turns around and sees uh, Dave, like, did he just do something right? That was not a bad roll. All while, all that was an Dave, actual spell. All the while, Dave just goes, "See, bitches, when I have magic, I actually am worth a damn." Yeah, where were you yes this morning? Uh, uh, getting over some therapy issues with with Bob. <sighs> that's what. That's what. Uh, he should have had. He had to be like, like the library was a poor decision. He had to have therapy from the very beginning. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> okay. Uh, so move wise. I'm just wondering, because, like, there, I, I'm right now near a tree, right? Mm hmm wonder if I should just stay there, stay where I am, because I'm technically in, like, a cover point, technically. I'm going to I'm gonna spend that movement time. Can I spend that movement action moving uh, Bob? Uh, You can, as a bonus action, say that, and then Bob basically gets his own movement, yeah. Yeah, okay, I, I want to move Bob. Who the hell shaded in Bob? I don't know. Where is Bob? He's right over here. So uh, as a bonus action, you say, Bob, move, and Bob can move up to four. He can move up to 20 feet. Yeah, I'm going to mm -hmm. move him to the, that tree. This, which tree? Um, wait, actually, wait, 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 I'm wondering. You know, I'm going to move to this, wait, wait, let me just click here. No, wait, 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 I'm going to move him to this tree, wait, this one. Which one? I'm trying, I'm trying, to, I'm trying to click, wait. 
Hold the click down. Okay, then 5, 10, 15, 20. All right, and uh, that's your bonus action. Um, you can still move if you want to. Honestly, I feel like I'll just stay where I am. All right. Uh, then it is one of the gnolls' turns, the one who looks like he's on death's door. Uh, he doubles down. He's going at you with a two-handed spear strike, Zarmorn. <sighs> oh, God. 16 against AC? Yes. That's... All right. Damn it. And that's going to be a D8 plus two. That's going to be uh, eight. That's going to be eight points of damage. I'm down. Zarmorn drops uh, from a final blow with a spear, and because these guys are bloodthirsty bastards, uh, he gets to rampage, move fifteen feet, and attack another target. Oh shit! Oh. <laughs> well, he's got. Uh, He's actually not going to move. He's just going to stab and then let go of his spear as it's in Zarmorn and lunge at you, Mordecai. Uh, 18 against AC? Yeah. Okay. Uh, six points of piercing damage. All right. And that's the end of his turn. He's just going He's just going berserk. Uh, Elin, it's your turn. Oh, no. Fuck. Are we all still here? Hello? Hello? Hey. Hi. Sorry, somebody yeah. okay, you guys, Somebody was somebody using the microwave over here. I was going to say, was it the microwave? Oh, wow. Yeah. <laughs> microwave ring. The, the microwave does that? Yeah. The microwave does that. Oh, wow. Uh, uh, microwave from the whole house and, and like, shits out the internet whenever it turns on. <laughs> the lights flicker. It's great. Wow. <laughs> Elon, it's your turn. What would you like to do? It's from Switzerland. They called it a CERN something. I don't know what it was. Remember, your resistance to fire has worn off, and uh, for this turn only, if you make a melee attack, you deal an extra d6 of fire damage. Elon, shank the gnolls. Shank them. I mean, cool. I have I have daggers. Use an arrow and shank this the gnolls. This one's on two, right? It's that on... he looks just he looks just as bad off as Mordecai was, or um, as Zarmorn was. I'm you breathe on them too hard, and he will I'm die. Like... <laughs> and try and stab him. All right, make a dagger attack. It becomes a battering ram. Hold on, I gotta... Wait, 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 I have, I have a joke. What do you call a half orb battering ram? Uh, Bram. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> that okay. was funnier than I thought it would be. Shit. <laughs> All right. The fact that you find it funny Holy is funny. Holy shit. Okay. What do you call brain dead? Oh. Okay, since you're rolling two dice for this, you don't... Tell you what, yeah. Roll d6 and a d4 and add your strength or dexterity modifier. I got five for both. You guys ever heard of Don Machi? Uh, no. Yeah, I, I, no. Wait, wait. Yeah, <clears throat> white hair, uh, dungeon oh, yeah, guy. Yeah, yeah. How not to pick up... Uh, uh, what was it? Picking up girls in front of a dungeon? Is that like... Something like that. Uh, yeah, yeah. You remember that scene where he stabs the Minotaur and pumps a firebolt through his dagger? Nope. Okay, so. well, spoiler alert. Uh, <laughs> uh, if you've if you've seen it, then that's basically what happens. That you run up, you stab him in the ribs, and you just that warm, that hot like piece of magic in your chest. You just feel it flow up your dagger arm as it looks at you in shock and anger, and then fire just leaps out of its eyes and mouth with a boom, just and it stumbles back off of your blade, smoking and burning from the inside out. Fatality. Ooh. Extreme brutality. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> that was a monkey thunder killer. Yeah. <laughs> oh, and he's on fire. Great. So you guys have another light source. <laughs> More guys like, I can see. I can fight. Mm. She, Save she, my she, soul. She's sneak tippy. Am I close enough to Zalmar to heal him? Yeah, you're right next to him. Yeah, okay, let's heal him. He, he kinda, um... You know, I just imagine she heals me, and then the next turn, this guy attacks me again, <laughs> and then I die again. <laughs> you die, I can't help you after that. <laughs> it's like, I am a lo- <coughs> okay, Full of back um, down. With a D4 plus What the my fuck was that? My dad. <laughs> your dad. Your dad makes those noises? He's playing with Alex, so when he does that, he does. Uh, you know what? That makes complete sense. D4 plus wisdom? Yeah, D4 plus wisdom, and that's how many hit points Zarmorn heals from zero. I mean... Seven. 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 All right, Zarmorn, you're up to hey. seven, and you're conscious. 
What's going? I see the guy just like dead in front of me, and I just look at him and just like have a grin. And then and then Dave pats you on the uh, shoulder and goes, "Welcome back to the land of the living, buddy." Uh, mm. it's Mordecai's turn. I'm gonna step to he here. Mordy boy. And Mordy is it? If I'm gonna throw it, okay. I want to like throw a dagger, but I'm currently holding my mace. Is that? A mace is a one-handed weapon. You can pick a, you can grab a dagger in your offhand and throw it. Does that still work? Yeah. Like I don't, I don't need an action to try it or something. Drawing a weapon in order to fight is part of the action of using it. All right, fair enough. So I'm gonna throw a dagger at the uh, null weird boy. Okay. Big guy. Very oh, magic boy. That's some very orky it's terminology you got going on. Retard there. Rat. <laughs> okay. Right. Oh my god. <laughs> That's his name from now on. Retard. 20. Oh shit. Nice. Total. Wait, come, come, 20? come over and see this. <laughs> Just confirm. Okay. <laughs> he believed you the first time. Yeah. That is indeed brother, a natural 20. Alright. Damage is a d4 plus 3 piercing. And how does. You roll all the dice involved, double the total results, and then add all the modifiers. I rolled a four. That's eight. Plus my three makes 11. Oof. Oh, shit. You throw the dagger right into that gnoll's chest, and he... And he just slumps and falls onto the ground. Get fucked, mud. Uh, that's all I got, Snyder. That's all I got. All right. You just have writing on the ground. He's actually right after this gnoll that's coming out. Oh, wait a minute. Uh, if that's the case, seeing the only one next to him on the ground and seeing his leader basically go down, that this knoll right here <laughs> looks over and has to resist the bloodlust. He does it. Uh, he rushes over and pulls something off of his belt, uncorks it, and feeds a what looks to be something out of this small, like, really yeah. shoddily made water skin. Uh, to the knoll that just you just threw your dagger at. He just <laughs> just shoves it into his mouth and pours it down his throat and massages it down as you guys oh, are gee. like... Uh, does that movement provoke an opportunity attack from... Uh... Zarmor, Zarmor, who's prone yeah. on the ground and holding a bow? No. Oh, yeah. oh you're right. Okay, never mind. Yeah, Alright, cool. uh, you guys watch as the knoll that fell that looked like he was dying <clears throat> pulls a breath in all of a sudden. You gotta be kidding me. Yeah, it looks like that knoll. It looks like these knolls are a little smarter. Well, it's the knoll sorcerer's turn, and he <clears throat> looks around, looks at you guys. For his action, he stands up really quickly with the other knoll helping him out, and he reaches to one of the many. Uh, he's got a belt on um, amongst oh, okay. kind of holding his robes, and he's got several pouches and just things dangling off it. You, there's oh, a no. pouch. There's a belt buckle. You see what looks like a whole string of intestines just wound over there off to the side, like a coil of rope. It's nasty, but he reaches into one of his pouches, pulls out what looks to be a small black bead, and boom, throws it. Uh, uh, he's throwing it right at you, Zarmorn. Oh, goddammit. And everyone within 10 feet of Zarmorn has to make a dexterity saving throw. Uh, D20, right? D20 plus D20 your dexterity plus modifier, D20. yes. If you're trained in it, then you add your proficiency, but oh my god. Okay, uh, well Dave's not dying today. 21. I, have a total of, I got a total of 15. Okay, it looks like everybody but Zarmorn saved. Uh, uh, you all take 9 points of force damage. Son of a bitch! So Zarmorn's back unconscious. <laughs> Son of a bitch. Uh, yeah, no, everybody takes 9 points of force damage, and now this- oh shit. That's not good. Uh, <laughs> fuck. I just realized what I might have done here. Uh, but the gnolls have their own plans. I'm at one now, so, you know. Yeah. I'm at three. So, five. All right. So, you guys, uh, where that bead explodes from, you feel this bubble of force just slam into you. And Elin, Mordecai, and Dave all just twist just in time to not take the full brunt of it. But you guys all get pushed oh, kind of to the outskirts of it. Uh, Zarmorn isn't so lucky, and now you've basically got a giant bubble of transparent force surrounding your dying comrade. <laughs> oh no. And the sorcerer is looking 
<laughs> he's looking very unhappy and he's gonna try and f limp like back he just barely manages to limp back inside it is now uh gabo's turn who's distracting bram bram's been off <laughs> man you guys would have been done this fight like two rounds ago if bram had just like gone for the knolls <laughs> Exactly. What the fuck? Uh, hey. Our fucking fighter is all the fucking way over there. Oh, no. I'm gonna liquid liquidate the the <laughs> liquid. Goblin hits you for <laughs> Goblin hits you with an 18 against AC. I take it. Yeah, 17. All right, and you, I, and you haven't been able to go into a rage this round, have you? Or this game, have no. you? Okay, then you're taking you're taking four points of piercing damage as he stabs into your the side of your uh, chest, just kind of into the ribs. I'm gonna take over first. All right, uh, Bram, it's your turn. So I don't forget, I'm going to rage. All right. All right, and my cape is to the magic. All right, to, if, I, if I attack the goblin, mm -hmm. can I uh, can I run over to the other guy? No. Yes, you can still move after you uh, attack him. If he dies, uh, well, even if he doesn't die, you can move to your friends. He just yeah, takes. Yeah, I'm gonna attack him. All right. You go, Bram. Show the power of a, of a, of an angry breakfast. <laughs> Finally, I have to do something. <laughs> okay, that guy's dead, isn't he? He has to be dead. Uh, oh yeah, yeah, you definitely hit him, and you def- yeah, you've made paste out of him. The moment okay. you're- He's you're he is, he is green and red, he's a green, uh, he's guacamole, basically. And chunky <laughs> salsa. It's like an extra move, the moment you hit his head, his entire body just atomizes. Yeah. All right. Uh, I want to move as close as possible to here. Five, ten, fifteen. Maybe, 20, his, 20. maybe his arm on. His arm on. Are you still? Are you still? Uh, I wouldn't recommend coming getting anywhere close to me because that. Oh, uh, that's out of character. Uh, oh. So Bram, you just look over and you see a sort of faintly shimmering field over there. You can just barely mm -hmm. see Zarmorn's on the ground over Mordecai's shoulder. Uh, what do you want to do? I'm just gonna try to run over here. Okay. Uh, you five, ten, fifteen, twenty. Oh, geez, you stretch. 25. Uh, and sure enough, yeah, there's a semi-transparent uh, dome of force that has erupted here for seemingly no reason. Elin, as he's running into his tower, you swear the sorcerer flashes a smile as he just drops the flap and disappears can, from sight. Can I, can, I, can I still do an action? Or no? Uh, no, you've used your action to attack. You can do a hurry of battle axe with the fun guy as you leave. Yes, yes. <laughs> All right. Uh, it sounds like uh, Bram's turn is done. Zarmorn, you're unconscious. Make a death save. Wait, so what, what, what's a death save? Death save is if you're unconscious, you just roll a flat d20. If you get 10 or higher, then you get a success. If you get 9 or lower, it's a failure. Okay, that's one success. Mark off that you've got one success. That doesn't get three successes. Then you get con back. Then you uh, are conscious, or you're unconscious and stable, basically. And he gets up, and then the force of the bubble just knocks him out again. <laughs> <laughs> he wakes up, he just slams his head against the ceiling. <laughs> I've been knocked out three times now. Uh, and then, and you, you, you look at Mordecai and go, so this is what it feels like to be on the other side. That's a more accurate representation of the sphere. Or the sphere. That's a sphere? Uh, it's supposed to be. Yeah, well, it's doing a pretty bad job of being a goddamn sphere. It's a bubble shield. What do you want? A bubble. Oh, I, have a, I have a question for the DM. Yep. Oh, so nice. if I make one successful like death saving throw, then make two, uh, two failed attempts. What happens then, or vice versa? Uh, you have to get up to three successes or three failures for anything to happen. If you get three successes, then you uh, are stable, but you're unconscious. Okay. If you okay, uh, gotcha. get three failures, then you just die. Okay. And your character's dead forever, short of getting using a resurrection spell. Dave, it's your turn. So I have a question. Could I use Burning Hands again? You could, but there's nobody in range right now. No, no, I'm not going to use it. I'm just asking like, if I wanted to use it. And yeah, you can use it again. You'd have to burn another level 1 spell slot, though. Okay, got it. Got it. Next one. All right. Dave is going to move to this tree right here. Mm-hmm. And take cover behind it. Okay. He's, he's going to go stand up. Phrasing. Do that. Eh. Like, Dave, phrasing. Wait, what did he say? He said he was going commando. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, he probably is. <laughs> dude, I'm, dude, I'm all that. Even so, we don't need. 
Are you telling me the devil child is running off into the woods and taking his pants off while everything's on fire? Yeah, this is definitely Vietnam. <laughs> All right. Wow. Uh, so I really wanted to use cause fear to get like this guy to run away like crazy. Get like this guy to run away in fear, but I don't know if I can. So I'm gonna just leave it at that and not do anything. All right. I'm gonna use my action to have Bob continue his pursuit. Okay. In uh, uh in, wait, wait, anything else where he can move? You can move 20, 20 feet, right? Yep, 20 feet. All right. Three or four squares, depending on how you move. All right, I'm going to move uh, Bob into from, from the tree he's currently at to this tree. Okay, because he's tiny, we're assuming he's passing on stealth checks because nobody can fucking notice that shit. Yep, not even Bob. All right, uh, Elon, I guess it's your turn. What would you like to do? You got a knoll right in front of you. Stump kind of in the way, but... You can see where it's been split in two by the uh, dome that's dropped over Zarmorn. Well, I'm gonna try and hit this guy with produce flame because that's apparently the only thing that works for me. All I'll right. My die. Hey, stop stealing my shit. He. Listen here. Fortunately, the lying. stump doesn't give him any cover, so you're just rolling a straight attack. Seventeen. That hits. Ooh, nice. Wait, I have, DM, I have a question. Go ahead. Roll damage, Elin. Yeah. If I cast fog cloud and Elin's in. Yeah. Can I, can I make Elin exempt from the fog? She technically doesn't need to make a save, but... I mean, it, it, it depends on the wording of the uh, actual stat. Oh, Jesus. Seven points of fire damage. Yeah, that Noel's looking about as bad off as his friend was before uh, he was completely murked. He, stum was he stumbles from you just throwing fire at him. Just... <laughs> <laughs> Just like growling and just trying to hold itself up. Uh, Mordecai, it's your turn. Unless Elon wants to move. Yeah, I'm gonna move back. I'm gonna. I'm gonna, I'm gonna move behind uh, Bram here. <laughs> Wise <laughs> decision. Human shield. <laughs> Human shield. Yeah. I think you mean half orc shield. Orc is shield? Mm. Also, I still yeah, got out of all the time. Whoa, whoa, whoa. it's Mordecai's turn. Oh. Yeah, question. Can I move through or like through the square? The squares. Bleh. These two are kind of occupying squares in the direction I want to go. It's trivial to move, move through, through an allied space. Yes, you can just say, "Hey, down in okay. front," and move through them. Okay, I think I want to move here. Hold on, one, two, three, four, five, six. Oh, oh man, this is getting intense. Uh, just so you know, um, you the flap is technically covering this guy here, so. Okay, so I'm gonna dagger this guy then. Hit him with my other dagger. Dagger. Because the because the null air quote mate has um my other dagger still in his chest. Yes. <laughs> so dagger attack. Does a oh. does a fifteen hit? Dead on the money. I uh, just oh, give me a second. God. Wait. D four plus three. I keep rolling fours. All right. Uh, he's dead. It's uh, seven. You. Get him right between the eyes, which is kind of an accomplishment considering the non-human head. But that's that. So that yep. knoll is uh, dead and out. Dead. It is now uh, back up to the sorcerer's turn. The flap at the front of the uh, hovel opens up again, and he stares out, sees you, see his comrade uh, falling, looks at you, Mordecai, and points, and fire leaps from his uh, fingertips. But as he looks out, you realize he's looking a lot better off than even after when he took that potion uh, from his friend. Does a 16 hit your armor class? Uh, it fucking does, and you know it does. You take five points of fire damage. Just thoom. I can afford that where I'm at right now. Uh, what are you at? Uh, well, I've still got 12 hit points. So does that mean you're at 7, or, or have you been reduced down to 12? No, I mean, I'm down to 12 now. Oh, okay. Gotcha. Okay. So, uh, and then he uh, drops the flap, and you don't see what he does for the rest of his turn. Gross. All right. We smoke him out. Back up to Bram. Bram. Uh, Bram. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think I'm gonna move up to more. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Ay, 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 ay. Ding, 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 ding. I wanna move up here. Uh, to hold? 
No, it just says hole there. I'm asking about that. I think it says a hole. Oh. So you just want to move up to that spot? Actually, that just says actually that that's there's no cross line, so that's a that's a Greek lambda, which. Lol. Lol. All right. Lol. Or a Persian eight, so eight hole. All right, uh, Bram, you want to move here then? Yeah. Let's see if I can do that. Uh, you can make yes, it there with. Yes, Bram speaks. Seven vaginas. <laughs> you can move. You can make it there with twenty-five feet of movement. So. Yeah. You have five left to do. To do an action or to no five left for your movement. Uh, for your action, you can ready an action. You can take a dash to move again. Uh, I'm gonna ready an action. Okay. If I, when I move there, when I move there, can, can I move there? I'll just move myself there. Sure. I don't see anything. Okay, I'm readying a javelin. If anything comes out, I'm gonna react and throw it. All right. Okay. Uh, Zarmorn, make another death save. Right. Don't die. Seven. Oof. You mark off that you've got one failure. Yep. But I'm... So Dave, so... what would you like to do? Uh, Zarmorn, it... there's still that giant transparent bubble that Zarmorn is in. I wonder if I can break it. Wait, 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 wait. I wonder if I kill if I kill the wizard guy, if the bubble will be undone. He threw something though. Can I yeah. break? Can I use magic missile to break the bubble? It's a potion. It's you want to shoot? Uh, if I remember correctly, magic missile targets a creature. You can't really target the bubble with it. Damn it! Uh, Just showing well, up. What if? Okay, but consider. What if he aims at Zarmorn? Screw you. <laughs> well, you're in the bubble, so it'll hit the bubble. Is it? Is it really? See, I'm afraid if I do that, it goes to the bubble and hits Zarmorn. I might just double kill him. That's I don't think I don't think I can get any deader than I already am. Oh no, you can. You can like actually die. Yeah, that's an option. That's the deadest shit I've ever seen. Okay. Uh, wait. Could I, could I do like a? Perception check or whatever to see if I can discern the nature of the bubble. Uh, normally, I'd say you can roll an Arcana test, but but someone didn't pick Arcana. Yeah. Uh, curses! If only Mordecai had figured that shit out. I'm bringing it on you, by the way. Okay, oh, so wow. instead, I guess I'll just uh, until further notice. I guess I'll just leave the bubble alone. Dave's gonna basically continue his movement. His uh, wait, wait, wait. Can, I do my, can I do my bonus action first? Uh, sure. I'm just gonna move ball. Okay. Bonus action. I'm gonna move you him really right. love that spider, don't you? I mean, I can see through him, see what the fuck's going on. I'm gonna move him like uh right here. Uh, here. Oh, okay. Then he can kind of see. Can you see into the tower from there? Uh, a little bit. Like. It... D depends. Well, no, not really. Okay, then uh, never mind. But you, Bob, basically climbs the rubble. Okay, and now for my actual action, I'm just gonna, I'm gonna run up to, wait, how many, how many squares? Thirty feet. Uh, if you go straight diagonal, it's four squares. If you okay. run straight, it's six. Okay, I'm gonna go to here. This tree. And that's about it. Well, oh, I'm gonna try and get Bob to like scale the tower. Uh, he's already kind of doing that. This is a giant pile of rubble that you've put him on, so he's already climbing. All right. Da 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 da. All right, da da. Elin, it's your turn. There we go. I'm gonna move here. Oh, is he already dead? I didn't know. Okay, I'm gonna move here. I'm dirty dead. <laughs> Uh, I'm already I'm gonna, I'm gonna use uh, cure wounds on myself, you know. Oh, okay. But, <laughs> I got it. Oh, okay. So, uh, what is that? A D8 plus your wisdom modifier? Ooh, I believe so. All right, then that that's also yeah. gonna be your action. So, yeah, you just that's... <sighs> ten. Wow. Okay, so you recover ten hit points. Uh, what are you at? Uh, thirteen. 
Nice. Okay, so that's your move, that's your action, uh, and that was your last spell slot, I think. Yep. Okay, Mordecai, it's your turn. Okay, so I just checked. <clears throat> it's 20 feet just to get into the, in, the tower thing, through the flap. Yep. So, and I can, I can like, split up my movement across between, like, before and after an action, yeah? Yeah. Can I also, like, move partway, assess my, my new location, and then finish moving? Yes. Okay, so I want to move 20 feet to get into the tower after the uh, wizard dude. Okay, then move there. You, Mordecai rushes in and pushes the flap open, and he looks in, and he sees the hovel that uh, is this tower. Uh, can you see? Yeah, I can see it. There's a fire off in the far corner, uh, some rubble-like uh, sort of amalgamations of tables where there's just this massive spilled... Uh, it's just it's this massive pile of awful and that sort of thing, like organs, intestines, that sort of thing, just hanging and sitting on a table over here in the far left corner. Uh, in the far right, you can see there's a sort of wooden scaffolding and staircase uh, leading up to another hole over here uh, that's covered in another sort of hide and over mm -hmm. here you can see that that's where the null sorcerer is okay um okay well I'm going to attack him hold on a second yeah. the spider can he climb it by <laughs> yes I watched that show in German <clears throat> so I only know the song in German oh really Just... yep. see it <laughs> okay, and my bonus for that you is... Call me third my bonus for this is a plus 8 to hit. Oh, shit. If I recall correctly. So, 19. That hits. Excellent. Damage time, damage time. This is gonna be gross. <laughs> Sticks and stones may break my bone, but that dagger will surely kill me. I got an 11 and a 10. You got you an 11 what? and a 10? That's... Wait a minute. Uh, it's 2d12. How's it 2d12? He fires a replicating dagger. <laughs> no, it's 1d12 and then 1d12 after, dude. No, I'm level... No, hold on, that's not right. That's if you... I'm level... Yeah. Oh, no, I see what you mean. You're right, okay. So... You rolled what? The first one was the 11, then. Okay. Uh, great. Uh, he does not look hat. Okay. Well, here's the thing. Shit. Uh, it's a shame you guys can't really see this. Give me a dex save, Mordecai. Okay. He becomes a flash. 17 plus 3. Okay. Uh, you're still taking damage. Oh, fuck. But less? Yeah, you're taking eight points of fire damage. Ooh, that's, putting me, that's got me pretty low. Uh, how, what are you at? Uh, five HP. Ha! Ah, yeah, we didn't, we that's right. It is now... So you guys watch as Mordecai enters and uh, throws the flap open and goes inside. And suddenly you see out of the corners of it uh, this blue flash accompanied by the crackle of lightning. And just... You hear a howl of anger... And then it turns into this scream of rage. And then all of a sudden, you see another flash, red red and orange, but like fire, just leap through the cracks. And the uh, flap billows from the force. And you can just barely see Mordecai taking a... Like, Mordecai's feet taking a step back like he's just been hit with something. It is now his turn. And in there, Mordecai, you see the knoll... <laughs> like doubled over in pain cast something and its form blurs as it uh bram it's your turn ah okay uh, i'm really sorry zarmorn you better not be drawing dicks what? No. Okay, I have some class, okay? Um, Should I mess it up? I want to charge in there as well. Oh my god, you're drawing that, really? What? 
It's not an S. You, you don't even know what I'm drawing. All right, Bram, you want to run oh, in there? Right. Yeah. Hey, Killer, what do you think I was drawing? I honestly right have about, no idea. Right about yeah, here. Yeah, exactly. Like, where's the, where's the entrance, though? Uh, you just want to get into the entrance, like right here? Yeah. Okay, you step in and you see a Mord Mordecai standing there singed like he's just been blasted with fire and you manage to run in just in time to see this flap over here just kind of boom, flow out close. and close mm. with the faintest hint of the smell of burnt fur and ozone and fire on the air. Uh, like I said, over here is kind of a table area where you can see org like all sorts of organs and awful on the table. Uh, as well as just organs hanging off of the old stone walls. There's a sort of cook fire over here, a small old rotten rug that uh, was probably good a long time ago, but it's faded. This right here is kind of a wooden staircase leading up to that hole with a stretched uh, wolf skin of some kind covering it, and you think you saw that sorcerer uh, leave. Mordecai, how are you doing? I'm fine. Go after him. Okay. Five, fifteen. <laughs> we'll say you're here. That's fifteen. Okay. That's fifteen feet of your movement. Hmm. Rem's emotional. He's, he's like, hey, oh. can I charge up? Can I do a second action and like? Uh, wow. you you can dash there, yeah. Oh, well, you still have the rest of your movement, so, uh, you can move five, ten, let's say fifteen, and then you can dash further if you want. Yeah. Why not? I'll, I'm gonna dash for. Okay, so Hello? five, yeah, Hi. 15, I take it. Yeah. Uh, you want to leap on through? Yes. 20, and what do you want to do from there? You see Gosh trying to make his, himself scarce in the woods. Throw a battle axe. <laughs> yes, you use your action to dash. You can't really do that. Throw a battle axe. Just keep dashing after him. All right, then you make dash it up to me. here, but you can't hit him because that it took all you could to just get in there. Zarmor and make another death save. All right, here we go. Fuck. Oh. God. Okay, that counts as two failures. I'm dead. Zarmor is dead. Like his character is actually dead. Yep, wow. his character is perma dead. Shit. Wow. No. Oh. Well, at, the, at this level, he's perma dead. Yeah. Fucking. Can I resurrect him later on with a spell? Uh, possibly. All right, that's my mission in life. <laughs> Find that necromancy a high mage and do whatever the fuck it takes to bring this son of a bitch back. <laughs> yeah, don't bother. Don't bother. Okay. Uh, shit. Shit, man. Sorry, man. It's depressing. This is really depressing. All right, uh, Dave, it's your turn now. At this exact moment, a wave of un of uneasiness ripples throughout the f entire field and hits and hits him, sending a chill down his spine. All the while, an un unusual coldness takes over him, and Dave goes, "Something's not right." And immediately, he 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 glances at the bubble, and he's like, "I don't know why, but I feel that there's something wrong there." And then he immediately puts that feeling aside and goes, never mind, just, 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 just focus on what's going on currently. Uh, figure out what that feeling was later. So Dave, uh, uh, moment he just like, he enters the what tower. What are you doing? What? Who moved Mordecai? Uh, not me. Sorry. Just trying to measure how long it would be to get up to that flap. Okay. Dave goes into the tower. A 20 here, and then... So here, okay. So he walk, he goes here, there. Mhm. Mm Excuse me, here. just a moment. Okay. Am I on? <laughs> What's up? Sorry, man. Uh, I should yeah. have magic missed the barrier. I don't think that would have worked. It would have been something. Besides, even if you did, it's not. That, that nat one, you couldn't have prevented the nat one. Yeah, that's true. I was supposed to absorb your bad luck, not envelop it. Well, at least before I died, I made a very sick breath attack. Yes. You tell did. your uh, tell my tale. 
I will. I will forever tell your tale. How uh, about how I spit onto uh, Knowles? I spit thee. <laughs> I spit at thee. thee. <laughs> Take my half at thee. <laughs> and uh, <laughs> tell Brian that he's a piece of shit. I will. I'll tell Brian that he's a piece of shit. I'll slap him in the face too for you. No, don't slap him. Just tell him he's a piece of shit. No, all right. I'll just say piece of shit then. This is like your last, like, this is like your will. Like, I go to your body, I find like a. I'm back. Office, like, I'm in the, on the off chance I die, do these. Tell, uh, tell. <laughs> tell Brian he can go fuck himself. I'm keeping the bow. I'm being buried <laughs> with him. <laughs> ah, God damn it. Okay, so. Is there? Yep. Alright, so I've moved. I don't think I can move anymore, but okay. I'm trying to gain power. Um, and, uh, Bob is going to hail the tower and try to get in through a window or something. All right. I mean, there's a giant flap right in front of him. There's a doorway. Oh, yeah, go through that. Okay. Uh, how many, you were, you started here, right? 20, you could make, tw take 25 movement to just go in here. Oh, okay. I'll, yeah, I'll and sure enough, you see, um... You walk in t uh, next to Mordecai just in time to see him uh, <clears throat> just kind of watching Bram leaping out of this window, th uh, this window over here. Uh, it's another d like wolfskin pelt. Hey, Mordecai, what the hell? Whoa, what the hell happened to you? Not important. Go after him. Got it. And uh, it can't move anymore, hey, right? I, you can I move five to... more spaces for your movement action, and unless you want to take the dash action... Then I'm you taking can't. the trash action. All right, then you can move another 30 more feet if you basically just move here. Okay. Uh, if you do that, then you can basically get up to here and start to get out of the uh, window. All right, I'm going to do that. All right, move your guy. Uh, Elon, it's your turn. So here All right, we go. well, I'm outside of the... Um, I can go inside, right? Could be an extra... uh, yeah, you can. So what happens and... when someone dies? Like... The character's gone, right? So do they stop playing, or like what happened? E well, they have to roll a new character for the next game. But yeah, he's basically no longer... Uh... But do I start at level 1 again? Uh, no, you can roll up a level 2 character. Guys, no. you know what time it is. You can be your dream character I now. I swear, I swear, if you roll up... If, if, you, if you just, like, write some bullshit on your character sheet, like Zarmorn Jr. or, you know, Garmorn, and be like, I'm here to avenge my brother or father or no, whatever. No, I will that shit. find your house. Hell no, I guys, will find guys. your address. I will track you guys, down. Guys. I will strangle you, and I will Noah, drown you in your Noah, parents' shut pool. Up. Noah, shut up. I'm not going to do that. That's lame. <laughs> guys, you know what time it is? What? Oh, no. Check the D&D chat. Oh, my He's God. <laughs> Are you actually? Do you genuinely intend to play like a bird person? Hell yeah! He wants to play an Aarakocra bard. Horny bard meme confirmed. Okay, he's not gonna be a horny horny bard. Okay, he's respectful. Yes. Okay. The word cock is in his race's name. Shut up! That's racist. Okay, Elin, what are you doing? Okay, so I, I've come in, I'm gonna is. ready my bow. Wait, where did you go? I'm inside the... You're inside Mordecai? Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, kinky. Oh, Ooh, would've geez. preferred, I, not my preference, but, you know, we'll work with it. Okay, you pull the here. flap open and you almost run straight into Mordecai, who's just pointing at the window like, go, go, go. Just go. Don't, don't even ask me how I'm doing. Go, go, Power <laughs> Ranger. <laughs> Whoa, are you okay? Go! <laughs> Get all the get the job. Uh... I can't. I've moved all my moves, so I'm just gonna ready my bow. Uh, you can take your action to dash if you want, and basically Ooh. get another move. But uh... okay. yeah, okay. Let's do the dash then. All right. Uh, so <sighs> you can move another thirty feet. Measure that out how you will. You could basically yeah. make it behind Dave because he's kind of blocking oh, okay. the stairs. Dave's in the way again, but I'll make it to the stairs. Okay. Uh. Mordecai, it's your turn. I wonder if I should call up my mom and say hi. <laughs> I wonder how my folks are doing. Hmm. I wonder how my All right, are let's doing. see. 5, 10, 20, 
25, 30 to get out of there. That's my whole movement. So I'm going to do that. I'm going to move my full speed to get the hell out. By the way, Bram, as you, uh, something I forgot to mention, as you were out there, as you got out there yeah. and saw him, you could see he, the sort of air around his form was shifting a bit, almost like he was steaming or like blurred, like his image was just kind of semi-corporeal. Uh, question, can Dave see through the flap at the moment? Uh, n not really, no. Nope. He hasn't bothered to like lift it up or anything. Yep. He made it there and that was the end of his turn. Yeah. Mm. Okay. Uh, All right. I, I think I know what I'm doing. Okay. Take it. All right. Uh, you guys watch as, or well, well, Bram. Uh, yeah. You're staring at this guy as he. Uh, You're staring at this guy as he's looking at you, and it looks like he's got a smile on his face like he's about to get away, when all of a sudden, uh, Mordecai... One moment. We got in that 20? Holy shit, dude. Two in one session. This has never happened to me before. Alright, Mordecai actually rolled a natural 20. Okay, uh, really so quick. roll damage and double it, you said? Hang on a second. Uh, so... Bram, you're staring at this uh, Null Sorcerer as he looks like he's about to make scarce into the woods, and he's got some enchantment on him that makes him seem a little bit more agile, when all of a sudden Mordecai leaps from the flap, shoving past Dave, points, and suddenly this blast of blue and gold and green and black lightning just leaps from his hand towards the Null Sorcerer. Roll 2d12 for damage. Or roll a d12 roll and double it. Uh, I got a 4 times 2, that's 8. That How do you want to do this? Because you're in midair, sort of. firing this with like a finger pistol gesture. Alright, um, I just... Oh, it's a... You know, I step out... I just step out, point, and uh, snarl oh, something in a in. in I just curse at him in Infernal and fuck. You, he, you guys hear, uh, Dave, uh, what do you say, actually? Because Dave knows Infernal. Okay, so I guess Dave hears, hears me say, hears, uh, and I step out. Fry, mutt! Fry, and mutt? Then, That's great. Yeah. What does that mean? Well, no. it, it's, it's a loose translation. It's actually a lot more, um, what's it, uncouth than that, but it, that's... Basically, that's what it. he says in Infernal translates to... Fry you mutt! Oh, and he, because he optional. because he leaps out, you kind of just get a snapshot of this. He just shouts, "Fry mutt!" in infernal as he leaps out, points, and this black and blue and green and gold blast of lightning leaps from his hand, and the null sorcerer just takes the hit, screams, and its eyes just pop from the electricity God. like burning yeah. through it and it just ah, and it stumbles and it convulses and then it just ah, with its last breath it just says ah, and he collapses dead yeah. backwards onto the ground wow. brutal wait, wait, so more guys over the portal? <sighs> Mordecai, you land with your arm outstretched, staring. And Bram, you just saw that happen kind of over your shoulder. I don't know how to react. And uh... Dave, from where you are, just kind of looking through the flap, like, holy shit, that happened. And Bram, right next to him, you guys both make a perception test. Do I have, uh, was it minus one perception, right? Something like that. Let me check... Check, check, fucking check. I don't give a shit. <laughs> All right. Uh, D20, right? Yep. Yeah. Bum, bum, oh, bum. God. <laughs> Smells like dirt. Oh, God. 
Uh, Bram, next to Mordecai has, now, no you idea. suddenly no, 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 no. catch the faint whiff of sulfur and brimstone uh, oh, oh. after he made that attack, after he landed next to you, just staring at the guy, after he spoke a language that you don't even know how to translate. Wait, shit, was that Infernal? <laughs> no, you rolled a one. Yeah, yeah, no, you, you Dave, you rolled exactly. a one, so you're just like, wow, that was cool. You and then you look exactly. right and you go, Bleh, Elin, what are you doing here? <laughs> Mordecai, you straighten up and you see Bram staring at you and you like see his nostrils flare as he <laughs> and wrinkles his face. Combat's over. The knoll is dead. The tower is yours. Turn... Beg your pardon? I turn and walk back into the the, the opening and, uh... is about six or seven feet off the ground. You have to haul yourself in. Gonna walk around or try yeah. to climb? Um, I'll just walk around. I'm tired. <laughs> okay, uh, you walk around and you make it back into the tower, and uh, it looks largely the same as it was. Make a perception test. What are the rest uh, of you? What are the rest of you doing as he walks around to get back uh, in? I'm gonna go outside. Wait, do I make a perception test? Yes, Mordecai makes a perception test. Elin, you head back outside just in time to see the bubble of force that was surrounding Zarmorn drift away and uh, in these sort of tattered floating pieces and then just fade into nothingness. A total of 13. Okay. Uh, Mordecai, as you step into the room, you look down and notice something that kind of went uh, unnoticed in the chaos. There is a circle um, in the middle of this room that is made yeah, wow. up of these nine black gems that are just flecked with tiny bits of crystalline red inside of them. They're rough cut, but they're definitely gemstones of some kind. And they're on the, sorry, are they on the outside of the, I thought I was going to the, going back around the tower. Yeah, you were, you, you came back around the tower and went in on the inside. Basically a circle, that circle right there is made up of these nine points. And at each point is a gem. Elin, uh, you're looking out there where the bubble of force just dissipated, and you see Zarmorn lying uh, worryingly still. <laughs> um, I can't do. I can't even do anything for him. But you don't know that. Though. You don't know. He's still there, and the bubble's gone. I'm going go for your drama skills to come into high gear, Michaela. <laughs> you what? Drama has not helped me at all. Uh, I mean, I'll go up to Zalmar and check on him. See what his <laughs> death is. Loot him. All right. Uh, you walk up to Zarmor and you see that he's lying there and he's not breathing. You bend over to check his vitals. No pulse. And you can almost feel the body heat uh, slowly escaping him. And you realize your green friend is dead. I'm gonna, I think I'm just going to like kind of like fall like kind of like fall backwards like sitting down in like shock dave bram what are you guys doing dave is gonna take a look inside the tower see if there's anything of note that uh roll be... okay roll an in, uh perception roll an investigation test bram okay um i want to i want to the What's going on? uh the corpse see if there's anything you're gonna loot gosh yes all, all right. right i guess oh my dagger is still stuck in him all right, yeah, yeah you I'll do find a dagger back. that looks like it belonged to uh, Mordecai. Give it back. Oh, 16. 16, okay. Uh, Bram, you find a dagger that looks like it belonged to Mordecai. Uh, on, gosh, you find that pouch that sort of jingles like it's got marbles in it. And you look in, and there are five of these little three-quarter inch or like two centimeter in diameter black beads. Uh... In addition, you find this rune-carved rock about the size... It could fit in the palm of your hand. And a small pouch with uh, 12 gold pieces in it. Mordecai sort of focused on the circle. Dave, you notice that there are these sort of clay pitchers on the table on the far end. And you walk over to examine them. And they're corked, weirdly enough. And you open them and you smell them. And these are both uh, potions of some kind. If you take the time, you can take the time to examine them. Just kind of like dip a finger in them and you yeah. know dab it on your tongue to test them. One of them yeah. you recognize as a potion of superior healing, and the other, oh. which is kind of this uh, swirly red uh, color with almost this silvery uh, glisten to it. 
So is it? Wait, did I, just, did I see one thing with the, one picture or like multiple pictures? No, there are two pictures. The second picture oh. you look in and it's got this clear red liquid in it with this these tiny little bubbles of uh, a semi like faintly glowing light in it. And you taste it and you examine it and uh, this is an elixir of health. Ah. You think if you drink this, then it will cure you of blindness, deafness, paralysis, or poison. Uh. The potion of superior healing, on the other hand, is a uh, proper healing potion. I take those two potions. Pour one out for Zaramon. <laughs> Man, I wish I could. Nah, don't. don't do that. You don't know he's dead yet. Oh yeah, right. Dave doesn't notice anything else outside of the pictures, right? Uh, no, he also notices the circle of gems as he passes by them, but he's more interested in the pictures momentarily. Oh, okay. Mordecai, what are you doing with that circle of gems? It's fucking it. Uh, uh, inspect it real quick to see what it, what it is, because uh, I, I, I suspect it's got some... I'm not going to step into it. Okay. I'm not that dumb. I'm, well, I'm, look... I'm going to step up, and I'm going to inspect it to see what the deal is, because this looks like magic with a K. Oh yeah, you d well. First of all, you bend down and look at one of the gems, and it's almost night black with these small bits of uh, glistening red crystal in it, and you immediately recognize those as blood gems, bloodstones. Actually, they are a gemstone that's probably worth these this size and this rough cut cut, rough as it is. Uh, each of these gems could fetch 50 gold apiece if you sold it. Oh, wow. And there are nine of them forming this circle. Uh, as far as you can tell, make an arcana test. Oh, like something I'm fucking trained in. I fell off my desk. I got a 12. Um, as far as you know, you've heard of crystals being used as the focus of a particular ritual or being crushed down and made into chalk or paint to be used as a component in a ritual such as a um such as some sort of circle but seeing gems in a circle like this you're almost certain that uh they have not been enchanted and they don't really mean anything you're almost yeah. certain uh, Dave, you're looking around on the table. You come across this patch of what you realize uh, for a moment. It just kind of blended, oh, sort of, didn't really blend in with the stones, but among all the organs and awful and just pieces of, um, like, formerly living matter there just kind of didn't, like, strike you as odd. But you kind of take it by the corner and lift it up, and you realize there's this writing on it. And you lift it up and you look at it and you realize that this patch of hopefully animals, but definitely some sort of dried skin, uh, is some savage remix of a magic scroll. Ooh, I have identify as a spell. Uh, you don't need it because the script that this scroll is written with is mm -hmm. based on Infernal. And you can Ooh, read that. Yay. yay, read it. And you start reading it, and you determine that this is a fifth-level spell, a scroll of teleportation circle. Oh, shit. I'm keeping that. <laughs> yep. So you <laughs> wrap that up and pocket that. Uh, Mordecai, you're still staring at the gems. And Dave, you turn around with those two clay jars and uh, Mordecai just looking at the gems. Your perception was, what again, 16? Yeah. And Mordecai, you got a 12, right? Wait, wait. Yeah. Okay. Oh, no, I got 12 on Arcana just now. Wait, no, my perception is not 16. No. Because, you... like, the 16 I rolled was for investigation. Oh, that's right. Okay, no. Um, then you're just, the... you're just kind of casing... You're kind of casing the joint looking around, and you come across that weird, uh, nice rug that you didn't... Uh, you realize it's kind of out of place for this being a knoll dwelling. Like, these are savage creatures. Even if they just made this place a hovel, what the hell was the point of this? Why and you just kind of rock? yeah and you just kind of take your foot and drag it back and there is a trap door oh shit he's a, he's a, a crafty crafty bunch i wonder what they're hiding in the basement i have a spider who can case a joint on the big trap door for me okay do you want to just kind of slightly crack it open and drop the spider in then yeah 
Okay. Uh, you drop Bob in, and you. Oh, Bob. Freak on time. You drop him in, and you close the door. But before you close it, you hear the sound of something hitting. You hear the sound of metallic jingling down there. And you tap into sense his senses, and it takes you a moment, but you start seeing the black and white vision of what Bob is seeing. And it's a small 20 by 20 room. Uh, and Bob is standing on a bunch of cir cold circular objects that are all stamped with what looks like a monarch's face or some sort of royal seal. And that is when it hits you that he is literally standing in a horde of coins. Oh, shit. Wow. Dave, Dave's eyes just become like the whole dollar sign. <laughs> Actually, Bram, you finished looting uh, the Null Sorcerer's body. Did I find anything? Uh, yeah, you found uh, 12 gold. You yeah. found that small sack of beads. You found that rune-scribed yeah. rock. Uh-huh. And uh, aside from that, he has a nasty-looking quarter staff on him, but not much else. Uh, question: Are the gemstones in the floor? Are they like set into the ground, or are they more? They're just sitting on the ground. Uh, they're just they're sitting just on the thin. worn cobblestones. They're not set into it or anything. They've, it's just like they've been—they've been very deliberately put there, but uh, okay. not set in, not hammered in, nothing like that. They're just gemstones on the ground. I'm gonna pick one up. Okay. You don't feel bizarre. Nothing you have a bloodstone in your hand. Nothing. Nothing happens. Okay, I'll, I'm gonna round them up into like a bag. And... Okay. Uh, Dave, uh, yeah. looking at those gems because your investigation test is so uh, good, and roll a flat. Actually, shit, you don't know anything about our. Con well, you've got the scroll right there. Um, you realize that part of the component cost of casting. Uh, the scroll of teleportation circle is chalks and paints made of yeah. crushed gemstones yeah. that are worth at least 50 gold. And uh, seeing Mordecai gathering these stones, and I imagine, are you two talking to each other about what you're finding? I'd imagine. Like, yeah, Dave, sure. Dave, just, like, Dave looks at Mordecai and goes, hey, Mordecai. Yeah. Guess what I found uh, under, under this rug? Hit me. A fat stack of Yeah, a ton of uh, a ton of gold with the with the with the monarch stamp on them. Yeah, they knows uh, and other such creatures tend to hold well. Ah, so well. shits. These stones are worth a, a good price. Hey, uh, like I found a I found a teleportation spell uh, uh, on the scroll, and uh, one of the one of the and according to one of the one of the component costs are those gems crushed up. Hmm. Being trained in Arcana, Mordecai, that makes perfect sense to you. Uh, I guess they were trying to make a teleportation circle. Yeah, but... But to where? You don't know, think they were trying to, like, I don't know, make an invasion or something? They, I think they might have been trying to escape. But, but if they were trying to summon others here, well, I... They won't be doing it now. Yeah, mm. that's a good point. But the question is, if they were running away like you suggested, what? Well, consider. Gnolls are hyenas, technically. Yeah. Yeah. They're out of their element here. This is the forest. Okay. Or they're, they're more suited to savannas and plains. Okay. It's possible they got it's possible they got separated from some larger pack. And got stranded out here. They wanted to get out. It's also entirely likely they were trying to summon some fucking demon or something. They're from the abyss. God. God. Yeah, that's reasonable. I'm Whatever they were trying to do with it, they're dead. And we, so, and we I don't think it matters anymore. Yeah, good point. That said, goblins and kobolds, now goblins and gnolls. This is weird, yeah. Races that don't normally work together. Are working together. Grouping up. Grouping yeah. up. Not to mention they're like, they're doing some pretty weird shit, like making a teleportation spell, supposedly, hoarding a shit ton of money. Yeah. yeah. Hoarding money and magic items. Yep. yep. Like, I don't Hold think... on. Yeah. A group 
a group of races that don't normally get along. Yeah. Hoarding money and magical items. Yes. Kind of sounds like us. Ha! <laughs> Uh, oh, well. yeah, that very much does. Uh, I'm gonna, I, I guess if we're done looting this place. Yeah, I guess we should just, uh, head out. I guess we finish, uh, Isaiah? Mm-hmm. So I guess we finish looting this tower and we step out? Yeah. To go check on the others? Yeah. Bob summons, uh, Dave summons the spider back into the pocket dimension. All right. Uh, you guys head out of the tower then. As you guys both walk out to share this information, you see Elin uh, sitting over what you think is the knoll at first, but then you realize, no, she's over Zarmorn right past it. And she's. it appears that she's pulled one of the swords off his belt and is looking at something on his body. Dave uh, goes over to uh, Zarmorn. Is Zarmorn okay? I, can I just like look up with like a very blank expression? And then just kind of back down at him. That's not really an answer. I got a health potion. Yeah. Aylin? Dave Is he over. okay? Dave goes over to Zarmorn. He's not going to help when there's no vitals. Wait, what do you mean there's no vitals? Dave, to simple it down, he's oh. dead. Oh shit. Oh shit. Shit, shit, shit. Dave grabs his horns and just like looks into the sky and like, you know, just like with his teeth, with his teeth uh, grit, his eyes closed and he just sounds shit. And then gasping for it and just walks away in a, in a, uh, this spider, by the way? angry rage. He's in the pocket dimension. Ah. I, I'm going to kneel by someone's body and, and check to confirm that he is infected. Uh, <laughs> walking away. No. <laughs> Zarma just like, becomes a zombie and walks away. <laughs> Fuck you, just leaves. Yeah, you wish. He gets, up, yeah. he gets up, puts on like a hat, pulls a cane out, starts dancing off stage. <laughs> <laughs> hello, my baby, hello, my honey. So, All right. I take the sword. Oh. Dun, 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 dun. Dun, dun. And he like just after he gets ten feet away, he just vanishes. <laughs> <laughs> All right, oh, uh, Mordecai, you examine Zarmor, and yep, stone cold dead. I'm gonna close his eyes as best I can, given that he's they're on either side of his head. Dave is like he's his he impales his horns into a tree and uh, he turns it around. Roll a strength <laughs> test. Okay. This is gonna oh. be a lot of paperwork. I have it. No, wait, no, no, wait, no, no, wait, wait. Yeah, wait, there we go. Minus one strength. That makes more sense. Okay. We'll have to inform his next of kin. Did he have next of kin? Did he, did he ever tell you? Did he tell you? Make some good marks. 17. Uh, that... Mordecai, as you're looking up and asking, yeah, uh, Dave, you're making some marks on that tree. Uh, it's kind of hard to stick your horns in uh, unless you're your back to the tree and you're deliberately slamming the back of your head into it but but if you're head if you're heading about into a tree like it's a goat then yeah you just thunk thunk and you're making marks uh mordecai as you start asking about next of kin you notice uh in elon's other hand there's a piece of paper what's that i found it on zalmorn is it uh uh zarmorn would you like to take care of this no you can go ahead okay on the note, scrawled in a very simple handwriting in common, it says, To whoever finds this note, I may be dead, unless you have pickpocketed me, in which case I will find you and cut your hands off. If I am truly dead with my final breath, I curse the Samsar clan for their betrayal. I will see them all in hell. As for my belongings, I wish that all of them be given to my team of warriors and my body be buried in forest, so I, so I may return to the earth from which I came. Zarmor and Samsar. Fucking Bram. Hmm. So, uh... <laughs> hmm. I take it from so here fun. at this point? All the while, Dave is continuing to, like, punch the tree and starting to attack the tree in anger. Uh, Jesus Christ. Calm the fuck down. Dave picks the tree with his foot. <laughs> <laughs> Stops his toe. You take After a point of bludgeoning the... damage. Die. <laughs> <laughs> After reading the note, Elin just takes the sword that she was holding and like stomps off towards the like the wizard boss guy that we. All right, you stomp around towards the back of the tower. Uh, Bram, are you still back there? Or did you come out over here? 
He's over uh, here. I'm coming back. I'm coming back. All right, you come yeah. around, and yep, Zarmorn's dead, and Dave's head bugging a tree, and Mordecai is just kind of standing there looking solemn about the whole thing. Oh, Bram, uh, did you get my knife from that corpse? Yes, yeah, he did. Here it is. And I retrieved my, from, uh, my other one from this guy. Do you think we should bury him here? I mean, I gestured to the tree that he's right next to. It's where he fell. I think it makes sense. Uh, yes. Uh, in the meanwhile, well, as Dave continues to beat up a tree, he tears well up in his eyes and he wipes one of them, uh, one of his eyes, while while muttering to himself, while muttering to himself, "Damn it! I've, I I spent fucking God knows how many, how however long in time, spending my life away in medicine with the with the hope that one day I'll save someone. In the end, I fuck." Fake. I guess no matter what, I guess no matter which way the dice rolls, I'm always gonna be there when other people die. I guess, I guess in a way, that seems to follow follow me wherever I go. Hmm. <laughs> Brand. Hmm. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. Real, real, sorry. As a, as a, yeah. As a real. Real talk though, like if you ever do the highlights for this session in particular, and maybe all other sessions, have a hmm counter for Bram. That's like at the end of the time in the memory of uh, Zarmarn. Rest in peace, you big fucking lizard. <laughs> <laughs> it, see, there we go. Hmm, again. Hmm. That was hmm. Hmm. At least eight. That's more of a hmm. God, now we're all doing it. Uh... <laughs> Does anybody have a shovel? No, uh, great, I, I don't think axe. I don't think anybody has a de designated digging tool. Uh, I, I stand up. All right, someone stay here. Someone stay here with the bodies so a dog doesn't drag it off or something. I'll go tell the uh, the um, Bofer, the Bofers. I'll go tell Mister Bofer that the job's done. Uh, bear in mind that it is well in certainly after sunset at this point so okay, it's dark and you're like 30 okay, you minutes out of town in the middle yeah. of the woods uh you don't need to bury it just leave it out in the woods like okay sc He's... scratch the burying part just like leave my body in the woods so my body may return to nature from where it came from mm. I mean, you've already you've already written it out man so ah fuck you can't fucking edit it from, you can't you can't fucking get it from beyond the grave get the pencil <laughs> His his left hand comes to life and starts writing. <laughs> Hold on, I gotta edit that note. <laughs> With my last breath, I curse Brian. So what are you guys doing now? Uh, I guess we, I don't know, dig a hole at the base of the tree. We dig like a shallow grave at the base of the tree and bury the poor shit. Before the guy gets buried, though. Bury the poor shit. Just with all, just with all of his things. Well, obviously we gotta, we should like remove his equipment. Yeah. We gotta but like leave, but like leave his clothes on. And I guess leave him with whatever trophies he's wearing. I say we leave him with his clothes, his armor, and his trophies. Got it. That sounds. Also, good. guys, look at meme meme stream. I did. Yeah, I I did. That's why I said fuck you. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Let's see. I didn't I didn't see what. Uh, 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 backpack. Oh, I'm taking the bed roll. It's the bed roll. That's the goat. That's a really, that's a really sad thing to post. Dave takes the bed roll and he hugs it and goes, "Don't worry, you shall forever live on in the memory of through this bed roll." Okay, so we leave him with his traveler's clothes, the trophy from Animal, mm -hmm. a saber tooth tiger, uh, tooth, tooth, yeah, and. His leather armor, I say. Yes. All right. He's uh, actually, got, he's he also has the null skin. There's also the null skin and teeth. Do we want to like make some like a memento of him or something? No, sell it. Because like there's four teeth and there's four of us. We can make them into like. Hear oh, me out. Cool. Hear me out. Yeah. Necla necklaces. Yeah. yeah. I was gonna say like make yes. them. Into uh, how, how oh, you guys. Yes. I know I'm gonna be dead, but is it how big uh, are the null teeth? Uh, null teeth, they're they're maybe like an inch or two long, 
So like six or seven centimeters long and uh... big enough for a pendant. I, I'm I'm gonna keep the the teeth to make something out of. It. Okay. And uh, what do we do with the null skin? Who's gonna buy null skin? That's just creepy. Oh, I'm sure. Why are you? So, I, I, I look at. I'm I'm saying this as I look through the shit. I'm like, who's gonna? Sell it. I mean, we can't really sell the null skin. Who's gonna Who's gonna buy a no a skinned null? I've got a show to buy That's creepy. And to That's creepy. Go. I look at Zarmo's body. You hear that? This is creepy. I don't know why you did it. <laughs> Dude, Zarmo just gets up. I was going to show it to Dave and tell him to screw himself. And he goes and uh, not Dave. Uh, Brian. Brian. Go fuck yourself. <laughs> yeah, Brian. Look at that. Go fuck yourself. Also, also, love your bow. I'm not giving it back. D Dave is gonna funny. take Dave's gonna take the bedroll and the staff, and he's gonna like draw like a he's gonna he's gonna use like a, he's gonna etch on Zarmor's face onto the bedroll and and the staff and go forever you shall forever live on to in, in memory through these items. Proceeds to burn the bedroll. <laughs> no 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 like 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 in in Dave's mind Zarmor is still alive, but through these possessions. Ah. He's not letting ah. him go yet just yet. You're fucking weird though. All right, so I'm, I'll, I'll leave the null skin with him too, like drape him in it or something. Yeah, Dave has a hard time accepting people's debts. Okay. No, no. The if, hold on. The uh, it was a tooth from the saber tooth dagger. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. We'll do something with the null skin. I don't know. All right. Let's make we'll, a. We'll figure uh, it out. Let's make a fancy outfit. We'll make a hat. We'll make <laughs> we'll make we'll make like that la like the like what's his name from Fallout New Vegas. Volpe and Colta. Oh, the Volpe like, Volpe and Colta. We'll make like a, a null hat or something. I don't know. That's pretty fucking funny. Uh, so... Yeah. yeah. All right. This is very sad. It, sad. It kind and... of is sad, isn't it? Yeah. Oh, by the way, oh, well. it, for the highlights, right? When you show in in loving memory of uh, of Zarmorn, right? You just have to play. You have to play like the shitty flute version of like the "My Heart Will Go On." <laughs> <laughs> All right. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, aside from burying Zarmorn, uh, what do you guys do? We can work. Up, we can like I between guess now and the the night. between now and the next. You camp for the night. There is still a fire going in there. Uh, yeah, I guess there are still two null corpses. There's still that horde that Dave uh, seemed to find. Let's just pile up the corpses and burn them. The other ones, at least. All right. Uh, between the so you're looting the remainder of the bodies and check like. What else? Just stack and burn them. Okay. Uh, looting the remainder of the bodies, you come across, uh, including the goblins that you killed, you come across 17 copper, 16 silver, and 18 gold in total. Gotta miss playing as them. Uh, Too bad he's fucking dead. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, well, yeah. Shut well, up, you I jackass. Can't, I can't cure death. I mean, there's a necro. I mean, there's a high necromancer in town, but for a ranger, I feel like that'd just be disrespectful. <laughs> Screw you too. So you guys are s sort of just holding up inside here for the night. It sounds like. It like um, yeah. Do you? I mean, Dave, like... you found the horde. You haven't really mentioned it to anybody but Mordecai. I Mordecai, yeah. I guess oh, yeah. we I just had to reveal we... everybody that about the hoard of coins and shit that uh, Bob found. All right, Bob's still down there, by the way. Oh, yeah, I thought I pulled him into I, I, I thought I pulled him into a pocket dimension. Yeah, he said that. Uh, well, you can only do that when he's you're on he's on your person. Oh, like you like oh, put it no. like you bring him into your sleeve or let him hide under your collar, and then he's just in a pocket dimension, safe. Oh. Uh, he's okay, no, he's he's still down there. He's oh, just no. like he's, you gotta go back and save him. All right, I go and uh, pull Bob out of the. The trap door. So what are you guys doing in here as you're getting ready for your <laughs> rest? You talking about? I'm getting Bob back into my uh, hands. All right. Uh, you have to open the trap door and kind of look down yeah. there. And yeah. you still got dark vision. You're not. There's no light really going in there. So yeah, I'll, you just see like gray circular objects down in that dank pit. I'm going to grab just whatever piece of driftwood I can, I guess, and just light the end in the fire. Uh, there's a piece of wood sticking out of the fire right there that you just grab and kind of use as a makeshift anything, torch. Anything I can use as a makeshift torch or the, the actual torch, if applicable. Uh, the actual torch was actually 
Oh wait, Bram has it, doesn't he? I'm still holding that torch. Uh, <laughs> no, you planted it earlier, but I guess we recovered it by now. I mean, Bram's no, I don't down. think Bram ever let go of it. He like he's been holding on to it and fighting the whole time. No, 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 wow. no, 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 no. I thought, it was, I thought you said he planted it earlier. No, Zarmorn planted it. Well. No, you're right. Zarmor must have dropped it out here by the tree that he made his last stand by. Given that nothing's burning down, I guess it's gone out by now. So we just relight it. And... Uh, you bring the torch over and you look down, and the floor is glistening with thousands of copper and silver coins. Yay. In that pit. Like, this is, it's yeah. certainly no, like, Scrooge McDuck bank vault, but you could literally dive into that, into the pile down there if you wanted to. Mm. You can only faintly see a small area of stone uh, that marks where the floor is. There's a shitload of dosh in there. <sighs> yeah, but it's a shitload of dosh in, like, in like, yeah, but it's a shitload of dosh in, like, pennies and dimes. Yeah. Basically. Does that mean Mordecai's not interested? I didn't say that. <laughs> All right, so what do you do? I guess we recover it. We get it in a bag. Do we have a spare backpack for all this shit? All right. Yes, you just took one off my body. Then over the course of Yeah, but that's, your... full of your, that's full of your shit, dumbass. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> we'll just, I don't know. We'll, we'll wrap it in the, the null carcass or something. Not the null carcass, the... Does Dave recover his spider? Yes, he does. Uh, and you kind of yeah. have to go down to get it done. Um, over the course of your long rest uh, between eating some rations, ruminating on uh, Zarmorn's death, and <clears throat> Bram, or Bram, who am I kidding? And just generally uh, resting up, you guys f find that this hoard consists of 2,400 copper pieces. With gravy. 1,100 silver pieces. With gravy. And 70 gold pieces. <laughs> for a total of 204 gold pieces worth of silver, copper, and gold. Not only that, but you have nine bloodstone gems uh, from the circle worth 50 gold each. Uh, and looting the bodies. Um, on the knoll that healed uh, the sorcerer, you find another rune-carved stone similar to the one you found on uh, the sorcerer. And as part of the uh, long rest, as you guys are sitting there just doing your thing, uh, you figure out that these two stones are what's called so stones of sending. Stones of sending. Sending what? Your face? Uh, no, essentially they kind of act as... Shit, of course it doesn't show up there. Here we go. These stones, uh, they're actually, when you look at the runes, they actually kind of look like two faces, like one face looking towards the left, the other one looking towards the right, speaking. And over the course of your rest, you uh, look at the stones, and you come to realize that they're sending stones. And when you learn that when they're activated, a sending stone can be used to cast the sending spell targeted at the bearer of its twin. If the receiving stone had no bearer at the moment of casting, the stone did not cast the spell and made the user aware of it. Power can be used once, after which the stone regains its magic at dawn. So once uh, per day, basically, you have the... You basically have a walkie-talkie to... Uh, basically, a once-per-day, two-way communication sort of walkie-talkie set. Huh. Hmm. But does it have the same limitations as a walkie-talkie, though? Uh, no. In fact, this is actually kind of worse because you can only uh, send, use the stone's magic once a day and the its power resets at dawn. God damn it. This is a dumb walkie-talk. But these are... These are really rare items. Dave Mordecai, and Mordecai Mordecai. both know that much. Uh, all three of you roll an insight check real quick. A what? All three of you roll an insight check. Insight. I have minus one insight. Well, that's going to be great. I got a 20. Seven. Again. 
That's, I got 23 total. Got the, where the hell is the um, eel then? Why the hell did I pull out? How the fuck did I pull out three whole natural 20s this session? One of them was on a fucking insight check. Mordecai actually, well, I guess it doesn't really matter because Dave just realized it. Dave, Mordecai, you both look up and you realize, where the fuck did Elin go? Like, you guys have been sitting here for an hour just kind of, like, relaxing, eating, trying to, like... Oh, do I have to um, heal, heal up or something? Or... Uh, yeah, this is going to be a long rest. Statistically, you okay. don't have to worry cool. about it. Uh... Uh, n you can do hit dice if you, well, uh, for a long rest, you kind of just recover all of your hit points and half oh, okay, of your hit sorry. dice. Uh, okay. So, so yeah, you found that you've got sending stones, you have an elixir of health, you have another potion of superior healing, you have to divide Zarmor and stuff between you, and you have stonks of gold, copper, and silver uh, in a basement uh, below this tower. Yeah, I posted a, a total in the D&D. Totals of the relevant loot that wasn't just Zarmor and stuff, uh, because that stuff is in a picture in front of me. Okay, so do we want to leave this offer now and, like, do the math in another session, or do we want to... Uh, you can do the math right now if you want. I'm working something out here. He's working on rewriting reality. Bram? Raven Bram? A voice yeah, but... uh? A voice uh? of the afterlife. Raven well, Bram? It's, it's almost 6.30, and I... Oh, yeah. Boy. I need a coffee. I need tea. Yeah. I'm gonna have tea. I need a water. <laughs> hey, Baron. Well, All right, <laughs> then, uh, with the three of you wondering where the hell uh, Elin went and trying to take a short rest in the remains of this tower, I imagine you clean out all oh. of the uh, organs from the table over here yeah. just to kind of make this place yeah. a nice place to sleep. Yeah, I, I guess we just add those to the... Did we burn the null bodies? Did we agree on that? I think we did. I think so. Alright, then there's this giant uh, burning pyre outside. Yes. Hang on, I'll I modify the map. Organ. But yeah, we with a giant... On top of that too. With a giant pyre of goblin and null cor corpses burning outside and a shallow grave dug for Zarmorn. Alright, you guys have a massive pyre burning off of the trail outside now, casting light all over the place. Hey, Brian. Yeah. You'd like to one day become a barbarian mage. <laughs> I cast fist. I cast battle. Axe. I cast uh, foot up I, your ass. I cast rage. Endless rage. Uh, I don't know. I cast suck a dick. Suck a dick. <laughs> Imagine a, a ghostly dick will appear and fly into the enemy's mouth. Now suck. <laughs> Now suck. Is that everything for now? Uh, basically everything. You guys sit there with a bonfire burning outside. Zarmorn buried in a shallow grave. You all trying to rest, wondering where the hell Elin went. With a with stonks of coins and some new magical items with you, squatting in the ruins of a tower. Uh, there's barely a roof, but you guys. Uh, kind of make do and that's where we're going to leave it for this session